I am not tired, but exhausted. My eyes are kind of watering a bit right now. I had a, I had a, I had kind of a okay day, right? You Linda smell like a baka. What the fuck? Me kind of smell like a baka? You're a baka. How dare you? How dare you say that to me? On my birthday of all things. Well, I guess, technically speaking, well, depending on where you live, it's still my birthday. My birthday was on the first. Alright. I'm on the east coast. So, technically, my birthday has passed, because it is the second on the East Coast. But if you're on the West Coast, it's still my birthday, right? Kind of weird how my birthday starts at the beginning of uh, Twitch's September, you know what I'm saying? You know, fucking uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, huh? give me money, pay me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a little out of it today, right? Which is kind of weird, because <laughs> why didn't I say anything? What do you mean, why didn't I say anything? It's right there in the title. It says birthday stream. Even though technically it's not my birthday anymore, but couldn't stream on my birthday. Right? My birthday started with me uh, going to work, because I go to work at 12 in the morning. So, literally, woke up, happy birthday, went to work. Came home, uh, ran some errands, right? Then, uh, came home again. I think, was it today or yesterday? It was yesterday that I went to the store. I bought some stuff. Yeah, but came home today, right? Uh, for the most part, usually my house is very loud, but everyone else was pretty busy today, so I got to have a nice quiet day. I uh, uploaded stuff on the YouTube, like I always do. You know? Fucking got some sleep, because I've been working all week long. Had to work at like this fucking, like this stock exchange place or whatever, because my job wanted me to go there or whatever. They also wanted to give me the position there, and I was like, oh no man, I'm not doing that. That's way too much highbrow shit for me. I'd rather have my relaxed job, you know, where I can kind of goof off. Doesn't pay as much, but you know, <laughs> gives me a time to think, right? <laughs> Happy birthday to late. Don't worry. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, uh, what, what I'm about to say is kind of sad. It's a little sad, right? But not to me, really. So when it's when it always came to my birthday, I never really celebrated my birthday, like ever. It's only one time I ever had a birthday party, and by the time I had a birthday party, it just made me feel uncomfortable because I was so used to just not having one. And since my birthday was always on like the start of a of a school year or whatever, it never really got celebrated. It just kind of got passed over. So. You know, you get used to it, and you start to enjoy the quiet. So today, was just pretty quiet, played some video games, got some happy birthday wishes here and there. Half of the people caught me on my birthday, like around 11 o'clock, because they were like, oh my god, I forgot. It's like, I don't worry, I forget all your birthdays too. <laughs> but then, uh, had a nice, had a nice, uh, birthday dinner. Had some eggplant parmesan, that was nice. They cooked that for me. I have a picture of it. And it came out looking lovely, so... It was delicious. Totally forgot to get anything to drink on my birthday, because I don't drink that much. <laughs> at all, really. So, it wasn't until like 12 o'clock at night where I just sat there and I was like, I didn't, I didn't buy nothing to drink. <laughs> and I was like, oh well. I never get the urge to drink, ever. 
And then when I do drink, it's usually like hanging out or like just for the taste or something. And that's very rarely. But, you know, it's whatever. Sat down, watched some friends. <laughs> Hung out with my dogs. And, you know, I was just a little exhausted. Kind of sleepy right now. But hey, we're here playing Ding and Rampa. Uh, a nice fun way to end out the day. Fun fact, since the last stream, I didn't turn off my fucking, <laughs> my PlayStation 5, so it's just been running this whole entire time. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I keep forgetting. I, I'm so busy that I don't even turn off half my shit anymore. Like, I'm looking at my PS4 right now and that's on too. Well, it's not on, it's on rest mode. Because I was playing some VR shit on it or some shit like that, I don't know. I think I was playing super hot VR. Yeah, that was fun. I liked it. But, yeah. Time to get back to more some, uh, more Danganronpa V3. Where we last left off, we, uh, got to see the execution, you know, unfortunately. Uh, Kyo is now gone. Found out that he's a fucking murderer who has a split personality, because there's always one character with some kind of weird split personality shit going on. And then, uh, his split personality is his sister, who's dead, died of terminal illness. But, he also has like this in, in, how, how do you pronounce the word? Incestuous? And, in, whatever. This incest ass, uh, <laughs> this wincest. <laughs> he had this incest relationship with her. Don't know is that, if that was in his head, or, uh, you know, or real. Whatever, man. Kyo is weird. Kyo is weird. Can't say I hate him completely, but he's fucking definitely not right. Suspicious as fuck. And since then, uh, Maki's opened up to us, taught us about her past. That's pretty fun. And, um... I'm trying to remember what happened. Oh! Motives. We have new motives. Fucking, um... Uh, what's our motive? Oh, our motive is a key card, which we don't know what door it opens to. It probably opens to the door in the library room. You know, the one from the first trial. And it seems that Kokichi's doing some fucked up shit in the background. So, that's interesting. The more I see Kokichi do stuff, the more I think, like, are you actually, are you just an asshole or are you actually, like, a bad person? Because usually, you have like, Byakuya and um, Fuyuhiko, who are like, they're not bad people, they just keep their distance and they take it more seriously to where they're like, if I have to kill, I will, you know? But you really don't get that with Kokichi. And I want to see what the, uh, I want to see what kind of event starts to turn Kokichi if he becomes a good guy. You know? Also, have, uh, whatchamacallit, had a nice little clip of Rantaro kind of, uh, dropping a little bit of a story bomb there. He's like, guess what? This wasn't your first time. You've been in a killing game before. Who knows? So some shit going on with that, something fucky's happening in the building, as we, uh, as the story progresses, the, uh, our living quarters get, you know, bigger, more expansive, they get refurbished more and more, it's all coming together, it'll all make sense. So what's going on in the dining hall, and where the fuck is Kokichi? Hmm. Oh, for, excuse me. I love how I'm so used to just like, where the hell is Kokichi that I completely forgot. What the hell is Mew doing? She says she had a plan. Who knows? Mew might, uh, Mew might kick the bucket. Please don't kick the bucket, Mew. Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Mew? 
She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Mm. Well, messing with the machines and computers is about all she's good for. Oh, come on, she's good for other things. You know, she keeps the atmosphere a little jolly in here, goofy. What could she be up to? You okay, Gonta? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta's still thinking since yesterday. How can Gonta be useful? Oh, Gonta, just need your smile, that's all. What? But Gonta can no think of anything. So frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all gotta think about. That's right. We all should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruction system to save us. <laughs> that's how robots make themselves useful. <laughs> just pull a Chiaotzu. Goodbye, Tien! Chiaotzu, no! We already revived you with the Dragon Balls! Oh shit. Hey! Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you admit it's true, huh? I guess. I'm pretty sure we can take out one of the XSLs if he just blows himself up, right? I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with good ideas, I'll tell you guys. Alright! Now that it's settled, let's eat. If you don't eat well, you can think well. You're pretty quiet today, Maki. You didn't say anything. We finish eating breakfast and then return to our rooms. We need to get our thir uh, thirts. Why'd I say that? We need to get our thoughts together. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. Kokishi's like planning some shit in the background with Monokuma. What to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries, but I can't figure out this academy. I don't have many clues, but that's no excuse. Alright, we get more free time. That's cool. We have more free time, so... Hmm. We managed to... Well, I can't say we hung out with everyone once, because we didn't get to hang out with Ryoma or, um... Or, uh, Kurumi. I think those are the only two... Oh no, we didn't hang... Well, we couldn't hang out with Kaede. Did I play the VR game of... Wait, what? Did you play VR game of Mew? Of Mew? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I played the Danganronpa VR trial before. If that's what you mean. Like with the... The one that's just kind of like from what? The fifth... Not the fifth. What Was it the fifth or the fourth trial? Do, do, do. The one that was like, what, the fourth trial from the first Danganronpa? Mew is making a VR game? You mean in game or like in real life? In game? Oh, well, she never told us that. <laughs> she didn't say any of that at all yet, I guess. All she said is that she had a plan. Spoilers. <laughs> All right. Let's see who the hell we're going to hang out with. Um, well, I mean, right off the bat, I want to hang out with Monkey. And I'm assuming Mew's probably busy. So, who knows? I really want to hang out with Maki. I love her so much. Uh, you know what? Let's hang out with Gonta. I want to hang out with Gonta. I like Gonta. You know, as of late, Gonta has showed some very wonderful layers of compassion. I want to hang out with them. Can I please thank you? Damn. Alright, Gonta, where are you at, you beautiful son of a bitch? Are you just hanging out? Oh, there you are. Just hanging out in front of the dorms. I could have just walked outside. What happened? Hi, Suichi. How can Gonta be a helper today? Should I hang out with Gonta for a while? Of course. Mm. Okay, Gonta want to spend time with you too. Gonta would be happy if you help him think of stuff to do. 
I spent some time with Gonta. Gonta and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Of course. All right. Let's see what kind of bug shit we have in here for you. Um, virtual water bottle, steel glasses case. That could help him a lot. Rice toy blocks, cosmic blanket. Where the fuck? Don't I have like some sort of like bug collection or some shit to give to him? Do I really not have... I have nothing that, like, screams Gonta at me right now. That's... That makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. Um... Okay, maybe he was just like the glasses case, right? I mean, he is a gentleman, has to protect those glasses, right? There you go, Gonta. As gentlemen... Don't men wear small trinkets like this. Gonta must remember that. Gonta's still not used to gentleman clothes. It's very helpful, Suichi. Thank you. Thank you, Suichi, for inviting Gota again. There's no bugs here, but Gonta enjoys Suichi's company. Um. Now that you mention it, isn't it a little strange that there's no bugs here? Hmm. Mm, no matter place, should always be fine. Wait, what? No matter place, should always be bugs to find. Doesn't have be lots of bugs like in Gonta's forest. If I remember correctly... You were living in that forest for ten years, right? Um... Yes. Forest family take care of Gonta. Hmm. That's right, you mentioned the family of wolves. He's basically Mowgli if he fucking, you know, just got buff. Uh, um... Gonta, something wrong. Um... Sorry, that was a lie. Huh? A lie? You weren't raised by wolves? You lied to me, Gonta? Gentlemen can no lie. What? A lie? Sorry! Gentlemen don't lie. Gonta know that. Gentlemen don't want to lie, but... But Gonta have to lie for Forrest family. Gonta very sorry. Hmm. Okay. Uh, um... Your Forrest family. Mm. Gonta will tell truth. Will Suichi listen to Gonta? Of course. Okay. Of course I will, Gonta. Hey! So Gonta actually raised by reptiles. Interesting. Huh? I am sorry. Oh. Dinosaurs it's... not go extinct. Dinosaurs become dinosaur people. Rep... Rep... <laughs> what? <laughs> go to what the fuck? Rep... Reptites? <laughs> the reptites. The reploids, they're here. Reptites live alone, deep in forests. They raise Gonta. So what, now... Now... <laughs> instead of being... Instead of fucking being Mowgli, he's now like Samus Aran, raised by the fucking Chozo. Uh, um, really? And then why lie about the wolves? Um, they told Gonta to keep secret, said bad things happen if humans know. Reptites and humans fought long time ago, but reptites lost and human became dominant species. But reptites not want to fight it no more. Hmm. That's quite a story. What? But reptites very kind. Red types raise Gonta as their own, teach Gonta to survive in forest. This story is literally incredible. But this is Gonta. He wouldn't make up a story like this. Oh! Ah, but Forrest family, not Gonta only, teacher. Gonta have other interesting experiences. Huh? Yeah, another one? Mm. Strong guy came to Forrest one day to fight Gonta, he say. And strong guy wait what? Oh, <laughs> and strong guy just first of many. Hmm. The first of many. They all came to fight you? Um, they all come to fight Gonta, an honorable one-on-one -on -one battle. Gonta not understand why, but they say they come find worthy opponent. It sounds like a video game. Hey! Gonta happy to meet many people, learn so many things. Gonta shocked most by man from India who breathed fire. Are you telling me you were in the fucking Street Fighter tournament? Are you Blanca? <laughs> Is he Blanca? But you're not green. But he does. But his hair does turn green. But Blanca has orange hair. Hmm. 
you know what? Gonto will probably show up in Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 will probably take place after Street Fighter 3. It would make sense to me. And another man from Japan who charged Gonto with flying headbutt. Yep, that's uh, that's E Honda. Gonto also fight professional wrestler Red Cyclone. <laughs> Him so strong and cool. That definitely sounds like a video game. Gonta. Going to face all challengers, focus only on fighting. Too much growing that day. Going to think now he probably could have made friends with them. Hmm. A friendship born from battle, and I suppose that can happen. Suichi, you listen good to Gonta's story. Huh? Of course I would, Gonta. I'm glad you told me. But everyone else make fun of Gonta. Call Gonta a liar. Aww. It is, it is a suspicious story, but Gonta is, is a good person. He wasn't being malicious. Because... They were wrong to do that, Gonta. I know you wouldn't lie just to trick people. Wow! Suichi! Amazing! Suichi is a good person. Gonta wanna tell me... tell you more stories. Aw, oh, Gonta. I'm gonna feel so bad when you die eventually. After listening to Gonta's four stories, I return to my room. Looks like I still have some free time. Oh shit. We got a lot of free time. Damn. I was kinda- I, I just thought that maybe we would have like one extra one, so I used it on Gonta. Shit. Alright, well... Who else do I want to hang out with? Mm -hmm. I guess... Definitely not Kokichi. <laughs> Himiko was fun to hang out with. Smoogie was fun to hang out with, too. You know what? I I feel safe about, about Maki. I feel like Mew's just gonna up and die. Either Gonta or Mew is gonna die pretty soon. I feel it in my gut. And I don't want that to happen. So let me see if I can hang out with Mew, possibly. Hey Kibo, you're probably keeping an eye out for Mew, huh? Mew, you in here? Can I hang out with you? Are you too busy? Hi, Mew. Are you busy? <laughs> Almost there. Okay. Should I hang out with Mew for a while? Even though it might not be safe to ask. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, hey Mew, wanna hang out? <laughs> Fucking virgin. Don't really have time for you, but I guess I can get away from my work for a little bit. That ought to be enough time for a two-pump chump like you. Oh shit. I spent some time with Mew. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Would you like to give her a present? Of course. Always. Alright, Mew. I can't remember what I gave you last time. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just give you some spare parts or some crazy shit. I don't know. Hmm. What can I give you? Home planet. I must go now. My planet needs me. A hammock. Robot oil. Ernest compass. What the fuck can I give me? What did I give her last time? And grips. Metal set. Latest machine part catalog. You know what? She would love this. Here you go, Mew. Damn, Puichi, you actually brought me something nice. Alright, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're about to cry. What? 
You're not interested? Why? I'm in a fan fucking tastic mood today, too. Sure looks that way. What? Hey, why the grumpy face? I know. You're all plugged up, huh? Then let me give you something to get things moving. Why is Muse in such a good mood? It's kind of creepy. Hey! Come, Suichi, to my research lab. Completely ignoring my confusion, you headed to her lab. Let's go, Mew. What kind of well, weird fucky shit you're about to get me into? What kind of demon you're about to awaken inside me? Now, let's get started. Uh, um, started? Start what? <laughs> Clean the shit out of your ears, Puichi. What? That being said, Feast your eyes on the lo loveliest... Feast your eyes on the latest invention from the genius inventor, Mui Ruma. You showed me? Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses. These have built-in erotic... Um, <laughs> animations. So it's a... So... <laughs> you just walk in public, looking like a douchebag with sunglasses on, but you're just watching hentai the whole time. <laughs> Movies appear behind the lens so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. <laughs> As a bonus, I included a video of me. Suichi, you should be thankful. Suichi, you should be thankful. You do not know how good you have it right now. Booyah! Here, use this too. I bet this <laughs> I bet this gets your blood moving. Uh, um... What is this? You know. It's a recording of my moans. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Alright. <laughs> I'll bite, Mew. Suichi, I'm jealous, you bastard. Huh? What? On your knees. I recorded a voice sample for you. You're welcome. <laughs> a virgin like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. Is this grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? <laughs> Listen up. I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it at all. Just put it to good use, okay? Everything in the box Mew gave me was clearly for that purpose. Mew's the best. Out of my way. Be happy. I made all this stuff for you. Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. It's weird to be handed this stuff out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. <laughs> and trust me, I need it. <laughs> I am a pro. Thank you very much. Suichi out here being the smoothest talker by not saying anything. I am a bit taken aback by how nice Mew is being, though. Thank you. Uh, thank you? <laughs> See? Being honest ain't so bad now, is it? I like how honest you are, since it's you. Sure. I guess I can share my secret with you. Oh, it's serious time now. Her face changed. All right, Mew. What you gotta share with me? Huh? Your secret. Oh no, trust me, I want to hear it. I'll listen, but no more inventions. All right, let's hear it. Okay. What? What? Really? You'll hear my secret? Why is she being shy? She brought it up. Booyah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now we're talking. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Mew, you better not die. <laughs> I need to know your secret. You better not die. I'll fucking take the bullet for you. <laughs> oh yes, give me all the sugar. Mew was clearly in a very good mood as I returned to my room. What do I do with all these inventions anyways? Uh, use them for what they're needed to be used for, of course. She, Listen, she gave you a video of herself. You do not let that go to waste, my friend. Young Padawan. <laughs> Listen. Listen to the ways of the Force. Don't die, Mew, don't die. God, now you can't die. I need to know your secret. The doorbell. Is it Kaito or Maki looking for me? It's probably Kokichi with a knife. Oh, sh. Hey, 
Luigi. You're not supposed to be here. But I'm happy that you are. Hmm. No. What about Gooichi? Spooichi? <laughs> well, whatever. Pick any nickname you want. Huh? Mew, what are you doing here? Ha, I figured virgin. me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin's ass a visit. Got a boner yet? <laughs> she went on night with <laughs> she went on night with Suichi. Hey. I mean sweet Suichi shouldn't be complaining. She kinda looks like Kaede. <laughs> A little bit. They're both blonde, taller than him. I'm still surprised that Kayede is taller than Suichi by like an inch. What are you doing here? Uh. What am I doing here? Uh. Cheer up. Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. Huh? We can escape? Booyah! Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. But there's no rush, so if you want to rub one out while you think about me, you got time. <laughs> but you better bring the crusty tissues afterward. Why? Why would you want that? You're you're a fucking freak. God, I love you. Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound all that serious. But I shouldn't just ignore her. The computer room on the fourth floor. Time to. Time to abandon my purities, given to sin. Thy lady, thy lady calleth, and I shall answer. Can I fast travel there? It'll be quicker. Okay, we can fast travel, cool. Uh, there we go. The hell are you doing up here? Oh, wait, where the... What the hell are you doing up here? At night. You okay, Himiko? Hmm. Himiko? What? Oh, hello, Suichi. Did Mew tell you to meet up too? Oh, she's freaky. She brought... <laughs> she's freaky. <laughs> she said, let's make it a threesome. Okay. Yeah. So everyone got the same message? Hmm. She said we... Okay, so everyone's coming. Cool. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this all smells really fishy. My magical instincts are telling me to not get involved with Mew. But... I mean, that's what my mother said too, but do you see me listening? Of course not. But she might have found a, the only means of escape. I think we should go, just in case. You're right. I guess you're right. Aww... I don't like it when you're sad. Huh? Himiko, what's wrong? No. I just remember how Tenko would always grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. I can picture Tenko taking your hand and saying, I'll protect you. Hmm. All right, I'll learn from Tenko and move forward. Well then, Suichi, I'll go on ahead. You should head over, to, you should head over soon, too. Oh. I don't like it when Himiko is sad. Makes me feel bad. Oh my god, they're all PlayStation's VRs. Hmm. <sighs> As suspected, everyone was brought here. Ha, fucking virgin. God, when you have everybody in one room, you just realize how... How few of you are left. <laughs> You're just like, oh, what the fuck? Don't act all depressed just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. I am depressed, but it's okay, you gave me a video. Huh? Do I look depressed to you? Actually, there's no way we wouldn't show up when we were told there's a chance to escape. Hmm. But I still think it smells fishy. Uh, really? Does it smell like some something fun is gonna happen instead? Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks. The key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. All right already. So, what's this way for getting out of here? Hmm. Is this really a way? Sure. Uh, the doy. Of course there is. Geniuses like me never makes mistakes. Except for all the times you do during the trial. Hey! So how are we gonna escape? Out of my way! We're going to another world. A world with no killing games and no Monokuma. Huh? Another world? What? Oh, you wanna know? Huh? Do ya? <laughs> I'll tell you if you bow to me. On your knees. Now. What? But why? When Suichi and Kaede bowed to me, it sort of awoken something in me. 
You don't gotta tell nobody about that, okay? Fuck all y'all! Alright, <laughs> hurry the fuck up and bow to me, you masochistic shits. Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? What? Huh? You want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Why? What? what the hell? Isn't that weird? You get it? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. So you better bow down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Um. Wh why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okie dokie then. Everyone, let's go. Wait! Wh wait! What the fuck? I wanna talk about it. Now I get why people didn't shut the fuck up about shipping these two. Huh. Okay. Aww. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. Oh. Hey. Let's at least hear her out. See? Did you hear that, Mew? Good for you. You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for you? <laughs> How long are you gonna be depressed for you, so? Hurry up and tell us you a squid breath. Oh god. I got something in my eye. <laughs> yes, sir! Please um, me. So when I said another world, I was talking about the big ass computer. Huh? What? This? Um. It's straight up a PlayStation VR. God. That's so shameless. I have one in the corner of my room right now. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it. There's this device connected to the computer that you can put on your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can go to the world created by a computer program. What? Okay, listen. VR is one thing. But upload your consciousness? Now, we know that that's possible, thanks to Danganronpa 2. But... Mew, it took the Future Foundation to come up with that. It'd take them a while to come up with that. You just did it all by yourself? Got it. Oh, don't you understand? Exit is in the... What? <laughs> Com computer. Exit is in the computer box. So, we gotta break it open and go in. Ah! No, if you try to force your way in, you'll just destroy it. Hmm. You mean this virtual reality, right? It's more than just virtual reality, it's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. So, it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. Uh, when I was little, uh, makes you feel so old. That being said... Alright, now let's go. Huh? Go? Like, to the virtual world? <laughs> in a land where monsters rule? Play the game like an ace. Now we're in this case. Save the world from the evil Moo. Monster Rancher. Sure. Yeah, let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way. <laughs> what? Why? You promised that we all come at here, come at the same time. What? I didn't promise you anything. What are you talking about? Um. Just in case, I should ask a question. What's gonna happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? Oh, so we use avatars as our new bodies to link our consciousness to the virtual world. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all of our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um... So, that's what the apology was. Mm. Mm. What are you guys talking about? What is this avatar? Which means... It's a shitty movie, Gonta. Don't worry. It's super forgettable. Nobody will ever remember it. There are characters that will represent you while you're in the virtual world. Ah. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies. Okay, but what happens to our bodies in the real world? No one's gonna feed us, right? Or bathe us. Our muscles will atrophy. If we die in the real world, do we die in the game? Our, is our consciousness permanently in there? Is our consciousness inside of USB stick right now? And shove them into the avatars inside the virtual world, and then we'll have new bodies in a new world. A world without murder and Monokuma. 
But what if somebody just walks in and hacks the system? Then we're double fucked, right? Uh, um... But what happens to our real bodies? Hmm. Our bodies will basically be asleep for a duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. Alright, let's go. No. Like I said, we're not going... So, if we were to do this... Is this technically a suicide pact? <laughs> right? Is her plan to just sit here and never come back to the real world? And just slowly die while we're in the virtual world? <laughs> Is this a suicide pact? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Donkey Lips. I'm telling you, it's not fucking dangerous. I don't wanna. See, that makes it sound even more dangerous. <laughs> what? 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 what the? Am I really that untrustworthy? Aw, oh, you're not, Mew. You're perfect. I love you. Listen up. Well then, you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Oh, that's bad. Someone else made it, apparently. So... So why do you trust it? What? Someone else? Mew? What the f- <laughs> It's one thing if you oh. made it. But someone else made it? Hey Mew, who made the virtual world? Leave it to Monokuma. That's right, it was me. Oh yeah, then, well I'm definitely not going in there then. Uh. I knew it. Daddy. Oh, you really can do anything. Uh, which one is my dad? Father! Him! He's my dad! Please stop! No, I'm not. Let me explain. Now then, allow me to explain. I used a certain program as a template to create the virtual world. Da -da -da -da! And that program is... The Killing Game Simulator. What? Killing Game Simulator? Well, with that, I've made up my mind. I definitely won't be going there now. Wait! Wait. I said wait, damn it. You can't! If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for sure. I, I... I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. But who's to say that while we're in it, he won't just put it back? It's definitely, it's definitely safe, I swear. Right? There's no need to worry, it's just a simulator, right? Well... No, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dun, dun, dun. He's right. Eh? Hey, whose side are you on? That's wrong. I'm not your father. That sounds just like my dad. <laughs> you. How cruel. Why not accept him as your child for now? Incomprehensible. For now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. Ugh. <laughs> Kibo? The results are in. You are not the father. <laughs> you know. You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. What's the problem? Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. You, I'm already one step ahead of you. Come with me. So, does she really need that voice clip? <laughs> So let's just drive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But... But it's a world that Monokuma created, right? Just the tip is fine! These voice clips surprised me yet again. If you don't want to dive in, you can just dip... <laughs> dip the tip. Hey! The tip of what? By the way. But <laughs> you just said you pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that would be used as weapons. Mommy! What about our fists? I'm not sure about you, but these fucking guns are lethal. That's what I that's what a good mommy would do. What? But mommy? Yes. What's this weird sensation in my chest? Is this what it feels like to be a mom? Stop it, Mew. How exciting! Hey, let's trust Mew. We should trust in our friends more anyways. Why? Why are you on Mew's side? Nuh-uh. I'm not taking our side, but it's like, I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. What is it? Something. Hmm. 
I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden. Wait, what? Like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world. Uh, um... A secret. <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Huh? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> really? Is this the first? <laughs> this is the first I've heard of this. Okay. Me too. Yes. Mommy's hearing this for the first time too. Oh. She accepted him. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> like Okichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Huh? The secret of the outside world. Yeah. All I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands on it. Yeah. You'll instantly learn what happens outside of the academy. Um. Hold on. What's happening outside? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Today we're making cookies? Ooh, what kind? It's like he's saying something is going to be out there, but that can't be, right? Hmm. Do you think this has to do with those meteorites? <laughs> it's your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yeah. We want to know, so well. Uh, wait, what? We want to know, so we'll definitely go. Uh, um... Kokichi, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world? Well, Don't joke around like that. It's just a hunch. Anyways, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find info on the outside world. First, to do some with sugar. Oh, so sugar cookies. Sugar cookies are nice. I like a I like a classic chocolate chip, you know? Uh there's also like chocolate chocolate chip, which is good, but I feel like if I eat more than two, I'm gonna start feeling like depressed or some shit. You ever eat like too much chocolate at once and then you're just like, oh <laughs> just like oh feels bad. Then we bake it? What? <laughs> Maybe with that info, we can even put an end to this killing game. Huh? huh? We can end killing game? Got it. Then Gonta will go. Gonta will go to this virtual world. <laughs> you can't! Wait, you can't. It's probably a trap set by Monokuma. But... But... If there's seven... If there's even a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. I heard it. Yes. That's what my inner voice is telling me. Hmm. Are you still talking about your inner voice? We're already sick of that Atua stuff. Listen closely. As I've mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I have always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. We must do it. Kibo, I don't like it when you tell me about this inner voice shit, because I feel like at some point someone fucked with your programming and it's all like, it's telling me to kill things. I will now murder. Let's see. Uh something with sugar, then we bake it. With eggs, more sugar. Some of that chocolate. <laughs> Some twitch form wait what? <laughs> the hell you mean? Alright, that's why we're going into the virtual world. All right. Then I'm going too. Huh? You too, Kaito? Got it. Yeah, this secret of the outside world stuff worries me. But I want to check this world out. Call it a man's curiosity. The idiot's at it again. Doritos? Oh god. Ugh. Throw some gamer fuel and Doritos in the mix. Call it gamer cookies. Everyone will love them. They will energize you. A dog. <laughs> the idiot's at it again. Shut up! When a man loses loses his curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. I don't care. I thought it was determination. You can stop talking now, but I guess I'll be an idiot too. Aw, Maki. Aw, huh? oh, you're part of the idiot club now. What? You're going to Maki? What do you mean? Of course. You're coming along, right, Suichi? And don't say no because it's dangerous. 
Maki, you can't entice me with your good looks like that. But I guess I'll go. We've been in danger for a while now. That's true. My ability to gather evidence and reveal the truth. So, I can't run away from this. You're right. All right, I'll go too. You can't. But why? It's definitely going to it's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we can we just have to do it. Mm. Fine, I'll go too. Being left behind will just make me worry. Okay. Then everyone except Sumugi's going. Stop. Wait. If everyone's going, I'll go too. <laughs> okay. Now everyone's going. Um Kokichi, are you planning something? <laughs> of course not. After Kaito punched me, I became a changed man. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> so, relax and just trust me. That being said. All right. Then let's get started before you cockroaches change your damn minds. Fucking slugs. First, each of you got to grab a helmet and plant your ass in one of those seats. I understand. Okay, fine. With Muse instructing us, we got in position around the computer. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! Ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. Why the fuck am I sitting next to Kokichi? I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. So I'm just drilling... I'm drilling holes in the back of my skull. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole! And yes, that is what she said. Okay, fine. If she said so. More chocolate. Gamma fuel. Baking. Now we put in chocolate. Ramen. And more chocolate. <laughs> My bad, not chocolate. Coca-Cola. <laughs> what? That, that just seems like a mistake. Then we put that on fire. <laughs> what? Ugh. Never mind, I don't want any of those cookies. I take it back. So then, which cords to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, and the blue memory cord in the left. Someone's gonna die during this trip. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? You fry your brain? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable, maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. Just stay calm, then there won't be any problems. Okay, so I hold my chopstick in my right hand, so... Calm down, Himiko. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the devices. You know, shouldn't you just go around and just, like, make sure they're all plugged in correctly? Listen up! Then you just gotta put the helmet on your head. <laughs> Finally, press the button near your temple, and you'll be whisked away into the virtual world. A paradise more- Paradise? Why'd I say like that? A paradise more beautiful than the real world, where there's no murder and no Monokuma. So, when Gonta press button, avatar person take Gonta to virtual world place. Ah. Oh, for the love of- yeah, sure, whatever, makes sense to you, man. Hmm. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble you guys. Oh, you're a fucking- you're an asshole, Mew! God! In fact, compared to your current looks, they're a major improvement. Congrats, Himiko. You don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. I never wanted plastic surgery. I like my face. Jeez. I'm still very nervous about this. Shut up! Just shut up. <laughs> shut up and fucking do it already, four eyes. Got it. We wait an eternity. We finish. And let's just see our Coca-Cola cookies. And then pour salt on it. What? <laughs> this is so fucking nasty. 
Alright, everybody. Let's go. We can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. Alright. Okay. Let's go. See ya! Have a good time. Tata spaghetti look. What, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Ew. I placed the helmet on my head and after a deep breath, turned on the switch. Oh, thanks, David. Thanks for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. And then... So how do we get outside of the virtual world? Oh, the Neo World program. Ah, oh, shit. In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. Oh, this is adorable. Uh, um... This is... Hmm. So, this is the virtual world. Seems like... It seems like... <laughs> her sad little chibi character. It reminds me of, uh... It reminds me of, you know, a fighting game lobby. Right? Like, uh, Arxis. This is how they do their fighting game lobbies. Except for Guilty Gear Strive. They made it, like, really weird in that one. <laughs> Let's go SAO. Or I'll kill... <laughs> what? Wait, what? What happened? <laughs> Eat or I'll kill? Oh no. Dragon Ball Fighters. I think it's like that too. Man, Dragon Ball Fighters got a stupid update. Fuck. I haven't played it since it got the new update, but fuck, that game is crazy. Like, assists are now like instantaneous. Well, besides the assists. The assists kind of suck now. But, damn. I'm not eating those. Not eating those cookies. I'd rather fucking slit my own throat. Seems like it's completely different from what we were told. Why? These graphics are really disappointing. How's this supposed to be better than the real world? Aww. Adorable little chibi Himiko. These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. Hmm. I thought I thought you liked your face. I still have a robot body? I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. So, you were hoping for a change, Kibo. But you know. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like I could my own body, right? What's more weird is where the fuck is everyone else? With this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Nah. Uh, it's nothing. Oh, so you have like an illness. You definitely have some sort of illness, Kaito. <gasps> oh, Maki's so adorable. Why? Why does she have like this giant ribbon on? Does she always have a ribbon? I must investigate now. Did she always wear, like, this ribbon on her? She did. But now it's, like, super giant. <laughs> All right already. I want to go back. Wait! That's... <laughs> that was quick. Oh. oh, so this is the virtual world. I see. I see. And this is my avatar. Mm-hmm. I get it now. What the fuck? How rude. What'd you do that for? Oh, oh so that hurt. <gasps> oh, well, now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain just now. Wow. It's pretty impressive. If you felt pain, then that means our senses are connected. Got a minute? Our senses are connected. <laughs> oh, a little adorable Mew. She's great. Really love the faces, they're super cute. I know, I love these chibi models. They're adorable. I want a fucking plushie. This place is so great. I came here all I came here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? <laughs> I mean <laughs> I can't say it's better than the real world, but it's adorable as fuck. This is totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. 
Hey guys, graphics isn't everything. Go fuck yourselves. Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look a billion times better now. What was that? What? By the way. Anyways, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Uh, -huh. uh didn't I tell you? <laughs> Ow! But... It means that things he's just beating the shit out of Kiva. God. It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Please stop! We get it. Stop hitting me. Hmm. No can do. Even if they're avatars, I can never hit a person. That's robophobic. Even here, I can't escape your robophobia. <sighs> How are our senses set up? Ah. When your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets those signals as if it experienced the sensory input for real. So... So even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of those signals. Oh, I see. Let's do cookies again. No, let's not. <laughs> let's not do cookies again. Make a real recipe, damn it. As a, as a person who used to work in the food industry, inside of a restaurant, I'm very disappointed. And since it won't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. I mean, you're still shocking the brain, so... If the brain perceives itself dead, you'll die. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird! Hey, why are our bodies like this? This Himiko's magic? Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Gunta. Uh, um... So how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know... We don't even know where to start looking. That's right. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map available? Ah. Yeah, I got a map. But first, I gotta give you a quick warning about this world. What? Huh? A warning? You need to be quicker on the draw with this stuff. Huh? I'm pretty quick on the draw, but not too quick, cause you can't pull, cause you can't pull out in time. Mew, I love you. Cut it out. Shut up. I wonder what the rules for this place could be. Aww. Talk to adorable Maki. Hey. Hurry up with this conversation. I want to find the secret of this outside world and head back to the real world. Aww, everyone's adorable here. Himiko. Oh, On top of the graphics and our senses now, there's even more warnings. This really is fraud. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Mew. What the hell's going on? Uh, um... So what do you got to tell us, Mew? Sure. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a special rule to this world. Objects here are unbreakable, just like diamond. And yes, that was a JoJo reference. Want some Coca-Cola then? No. I only huh? drink water and coffee and tea and maybe some diet soda from time to time, but that's it. I stopped drinking my calories a long time ago. Hmm. Objects don't break. In the virtual world, there's no rules that govern whether objects can break. So, any object, no matter what it is, can never be broken. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it, ex it eventually tears, you know? But here, the rubber band would just stretch at a certain point and just not tear at all. For the same reason your avatars can't get injured, you're still- wait, what? For the same reasons your avatar can't get injured, you'll still feel pain, though. Okay. See? I told you. It's not a big deal. Hey! What are you talking about? That's a really big deal. You gotta tell us stuff like that. Hey! Sorry. But that's the only special thing. In every sense, the, f the physics here are the same. Oh, wait. That's right. There's a special thing about the avatars, too. Don't lie! There's still more? Spit it out already! Hey! I'm sorry. And what's special about the avatars? I love how Himiko is like more persistent in the fucking virtual world. <laughs> she's like the bully. She's the bully now. All right. What type of coffee? Black coffee. Black coffee, and for the most part, uh, maybe like I'll get some coffee beans that are flavored themselves. But other than that, it's like just black coffee, really. Like I said, I stopped drinking calories. If you add like uh, sugar, or cream, or anything to it. You put calories in it, so I like my coffee black. You learn to love it, and then you really appreciate the flavor. What do you mean no? Black coffee's great. Black coffee's great. It's not my fault that I have a, I have a superior palate. 
and I can taste all the nodes. What's special about the avatars? Um, to make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world has the same average physical strength. Which means... Does that mean there's no discernible difference in our physical abilities? What did you say? So in this virtual world, I'm just as strong as Gonta. No way! What? Gonta weaker? That's also because Himiko's magic. That not good. No! If Gonta not strong, Gonta no protect everyone. Oh, uh -huh. Gonta's crying. Black coffee. Black coffee is not bad. Black coffee's amazing. Excuse me that excuse me if I don't go to fucking Starbucks to grab my coffee and I actually fucking make it. Milk coffee with sugar's the best. What are you, fucking five? <laughs> Listen, you can have your you can have your sugar coffee, right? But at the same time, you can also just drink grape sh grape soda, which is like one of the most sugariest drinks in the world. I'm not saying you can't enjoy your coffee however you want. I myself would like to have a mocha from time to time, but black coffee is superior. It's not my fault. That's just how this world is. Um, Are those the only things different about this world, Mew? Hmm. Yeah, that's everything. By the, way. By the way, how do we log out of this world? Ah. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use the phone over there. Just pick it up and say your name. That's simple enough for you shitheads. Also, that phone is fixed and can't be removed from the room. Which means, you have to use this room to log in and out. Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Mm. Okay, got it. You get it? You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. We have to find the secret of the outside world. Jeez. Yeah, we got it. So where's this map? Ah. The map is posted on the wall outside the room. Follow me. Everyone just sliding across the floor. That being said. Listen, if you like your sugar coffee more than black coffee, I can't help you. It's not my fault. But at the same time, saying that sugar equals greater taste, that's a lie. I mean, when you think about it, when you put sugar and milk in your coffee, you're not really drinking the coffee. You're just drinking the milk and the sugar. <laughs> Looks like... Looks like there's the map I prepared for you guys. <laughs> Study it, and you'll know the virtual world like Sumugi knows the back of her neck. Wait, what? Why? Huh? What about the back of my neck? How'd you know that spot's sensitive? Okay. Okay, I see. The back of your neck, huh? Weirdo. Why are you so interested in that? You're gross. But black coffee is so... Oh man. Black coffee is great. Like I said, it depends on what kind of coffee beans you have, right? You can also get flavored coffee beans. So for all you fucking pumpkin spice latte loving motherfuckers out there, you can just literally go get pumpkin flavored coffee beans and just throw it in. Right? You can enjoy flavor without the sugar. Hell, I don't even add sugar to my cereal. You drunk you drink a bit of black coffee and your heart died? That's because your heart's just used to sugar. It's your body craving sugar. Go without sugar for a bit. Then your body will your body will refresh itself. And it'll be like, oh yes. I almost forgot how real food tastes. If you want sugar, eat fruits. It's nature's candy. I had like a whole fucking cup of like uh grapefruit today. It was wonderful. There are two maps posted here, one big and one small. I look at the latter. Hmm. This map has mansion written on it. You know. This is the map to the mansion, which is the building we're in right now. This area is the entrance hall, and that room will be the phone. Wait, what? And that room with the phone is the saloon. Saloon? Salon. Why'd I say saloon? Wait. The dining hall, kitchen, and bathroom are also on the first floor. Mm. There's no second floor, but I do see a roof area. Hmm. The rooftop, huh? I guess that'd give us great view. Let's go check it out later. Hmm. Sugar's the best. <laughs> Still thinking why you're not fat. 
I'm still thinking why I am fat. I'll always be fat for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, good idea. But before we do, I should look at this. I should look at this big map as well. Hmm. Looks like a map of the entire virtual world. Shit. Listen up, shithead. Make sure you remember everything about this world. Uh, um... It looks pretty expensive. Expansive. It's even continued past the river. Is this an el ellipsis here? Showing that it continues? Ah. Yeah, I'll tell you what the sign means later. You'll understand once you actually go there. What could she mean oh. by that? Where the fuck do you see an ellipsis at? What? What the hell is she talking about? Hmm. Alright. There's another building here. Sure. Yeah, it's just a dinky chapel. It was a cluttered mess in there. A lot of stuff, huh? Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in there. By the way. Oh, I just noticed. There's a black line drawn around the world map. But does that mean something? <laughs> eh. How nice of you to notice. Of course it means something. This line here represents a wall. Huh? A wall. The line in the middle? That was the ellipses? It's pretty fucking weird looking. <laughs> so, yeah, the virtual world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall. It can't be. Surrounded by a wall? Are we trapped even in this world? You know. No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. I see, so the wall is the end of the world. By the way, Mew, you prepared these maps yourself. Not Monokuma, right? That's right. I prepared the maps. What about it? Um, no, it's nothing. I just wanted to know. What? There's something off about Mew's response. Hey. We should be focusing on more important issues right now. Jeez. Yeah, we're in the world that we're in this uh, we're in this world that secret of the outside world is hidden. Wait, what? We're in this world. The secret of the outside... Okay, whatever. That's a fucky sentence. I don't like it. But it's gonna be pretty hard to find something when we have no clue what we're looking for. Got a minute? Where do you think you're going? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I was gonna go investigate alone. There's a lot of interesting stuff I want to check out. Oh, no you fucking don't. Everybody gets in a group. What? Hey, like, hell, I'm gonna let you do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want. No way! Why do you need your permission? Why do I need your permission, Kaito? I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm going, no matter what you guys say. Well, it'd be a hassle if someone kept watching me. Huh? Kept watch? Allow Gonta. Gonta not understand what's going on. Gonta not sure how helpful he can be. But Gonto can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't think that's good. I think someone else besides Gonta should go. I have no idea what the fuck you just wrote in the chat. I'm confused. Too many emojis. Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfish, as long as you're selfish and uh, selfish, selfless and courageous, you make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard. Hey, With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Oh, get it. Okay, then. Let's go. Wait! Uh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay. It's okay. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta, keep eye on Kokichi. What? B bodyguard? You mean Gonta? Oh, yeah. Seems he planned this all along. Jeez. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Well, whatever. Let's go check out the rooftop. Booyah! All right, follow me if you want to pick up my skirt while he... I'm gonna pick up my skirt while you're at it. Go for it. God, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> listen, listen to his footsteps as he runs. God, that's terrifying. The hair. 
Oh, it's snowy up here. Hmm. Snow? There's snow here? What the fuck? You okay, Kaito? Whoa, it's snow. Look, Maki Roll. It's snow. Look, snow. Ew. Are you a dog? Seems like... Is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure. Yep, isn't it great? Not only can you feel cold, but you can even feel pain and pleasure too. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. <sighs> hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I dislike you. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was the first time Samugi, like, completely just went kind of visceral there a little bit, you know? That's right. How about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. How the fuck do we explore the rooftop? There's only one thing of note here. Hmm. Mounted binoculars. <laughs> Man, looks like you got a lot of experience with binoculars. Oh, go fuck yourself, Mew. You're such a uh, <laughs> you're such an obvious peeping tom. I have a lot of experience with binoculars. What's that mean? What do you mean what does that mean? She obviously just said it. You see pretty far with these mounted binoculars. I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around. Well, let's go find Kokichi and Gonta, then. We can see over the river. Oh, we can't see over the river. Huh. This is where the line of the map was. So that's what the mark was for. You know. I told you, it's not a line. Then, then what is it? Why did the binoculars stop there? <laughs> Aggressive men always come. Always coming and going and coming too soon. I'll explain it to you when we get there, so don't get your panties in a bind. What is she talking about? What could be over there? <laughs> right? Isn't this place great? You can slut it up all you want here. Stop it! Like I said before, please try to stay quiet. Huh. Okay, guess I'll keep looking then. Is there really nothing else out there for us? Oh. What the hell is this? The binoculars can't see past here. What is this? What is me hiding? Hmm. So, uh... Guess we'll just go there? What else do I investigate up here? <sighs> I can get so excited over snow. You're not a kid anymore. Maki roll. Hey, Maki Roll! Minar! Living things that must cherish their playful heart. If they lose that, they'll age. I, don't understand. I thought you said women lose their curiosity to age. <laughs> yeah, they're both important. A man's got a lot to remember. Isn't that right, bro? No. I don't know how to respond to that. The door? You know what? You're right. Oh, look at this. Uh, um... It doesn't seem as though there's anything of interest here. Besides the sparkling shit in front of me. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Hmm. Well. What? Are you in are you okay? You're going crazy in the chat. I don't see anything dangerous that could be used as a weapon. And besides, hmm. I mean, can you smother somebody with that blanket there? That can be a weapon. And besides, this is a simulator, right? We won't actually die here. Perhaps because of all the weapons were deleted, the shelves are empty. The only thing here is empty box and some... Some... I don't... Lattice? How do you say that? I feel... I'm definitely saying that wrong. Rolled... Um, rolled up carpet, huh? It doesn't look safe. Have dyslexia? Oh my bad, I'm sorry. I am green? Hmm. What do you mean by I am green? What are you talking about? Well, did you manage to examine all the places that caught your eye? Well. Yes. But there were too many points of interest. Uh. It's really cold. I didn't think it'd be snowing. <laughs> nice, Himiko. 
That means if you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt. Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. <laughs> That's way too cliche of a gag. Jeez. Still in a mansion. How ominous. Great job, Killing Game Simulator. But you know. But we're not leaving any footprints in it. What's up with that? That's true. It was probably programmed like that to so be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Ah. Yeah, looks that way. But you don't need to worry about that. I'm confused. <laughs> feel like I feel like I feel like there's a separate conversation here happening right now you are lady Kaka make me famous what happened did something happen I'm confused there's a couple of steps in that conversation This is just a simulator and there's no and there's no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside. We can cross the river and head to the chapel. You know. But how do we cross the river? I don't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> Jeez, you're so fucking stupid. You're approaching you're sp uh, not saying that. Let's just go over there and so we can explain it to you. so I can explain it to you idiots all at once. I just look at the wall and I start to think about what Mew said. About how nothing exists beyond that wall. And then I started thinking about the wall that surrounds the academy. Ah, oh, never mind. Forget what I said. Well then. We should get going if we're late. Mew will chew us out with vulgar profanities. I like Lady Gaga too. She's cool. She had the pointy nipples. At like the Super Bowl thing, right? <laughs> oh, don't don't apologize for that. That's not what confuses me. What confuses me is I feel like you had a complete different conversation. <laughs> I have no idea how this conversation started. Oh, you don't like Lady Gaga? I like some of her music. She's cool. I don't know her as a person, but music's cool. Huh? There's a field of snow all around us, but it's made so it'll never pile up on the road. That's a relief. I won't have to worry about getting lost in the snow. <laughs> Quit taking your sweet ass time. Hurry up and come on. I mean, come with me. Hurry up. There's no bridge after all. How are we supposed to cross the river now? So just you know, uh, so uh, just so you know, my magic doesn't work in this world. Well, don't tell me. Do we have to swim? <laughs> Fine, I won't tell you. Besides, you can't even go in the river in the virtual world. Uh -huh. yeah, should we use should we use something as a boat? Fucking moron! Jeez, you're not even trying to hide your stupidity. The river current is too fast. A boat will get swept away easily. <laughs> so we need a bridge then, right? Listen. I told you, we already got a bridge. There's a wider river downstream that connects to this one. Next to it, there's a long signboard that says Maria Hills. Or Mira Hill. Or M Mirai Hills. I believe that's what it says. With the cookies. What about the cookies? <laughs> Apparently, it was meant for the mansion, but. We can use it as a makeshift bridge. Well then. So we just need to get that signboard. <laughs> yeah, but I'll ask the masochist to get it. He just loves being bossed around. Hey, Suichi, go and get the signboard. Huh? What me? Jeez. Yep. Go get the signboard. Okay. Now, th 
See, Mew said it. There's a little bit of resistance, and then Maki said it too, so now I have to listen. Why? Huh? Hmm. Yeah, you're a total masochist. What? Huh? Wait a minute. Do you all think that about me? <laughs> Just to make it special, I want you to get it while you crawl like a dog. Uh, um... No, I think I'll walk normally, thank you. I'll go get it. No. Take the walk of shame. This is the signboard. I'll take it with me. All right. I just need to grab this and head back to the others. Look what I brought, guys. Piece of shit. I thought I told you to crawl like a dog. No. You actually thought I'd go on all fours? Whatever, quit wasting time and laid a signboard across the river. Uh, okay. Alright then. Sure. See? It fits perfectly. Now we have ourselves a bridge. Hmm? We're gonna walk over this shabby looking signboard. It's definitely gonna break. Fucking moron! Your brains must be smaller than your tits. I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even this crappy signboard can be a sturdy bridge in this world, huh? Listen up. This signboard is the only bridge we got, so don't fuck it up and let it get washed away. If the signboard gets washed away by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. And you might get stuck on the other side. Stop That'd be pretty it. bad. <laughs> Stop it. It's my favorite. All right, already. Jeez, you're annoying. Oh? Huh? There's a bridge? Oh, thank God. I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross the river. <laughs> Where were you? What are you doing? Oh, I was in the forest over there looking for the secret of the outside world. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyways. Right, Gunta? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Gunta sad? <laughs> He's like disappointed. He's like, yeah. Perfect. It's more convenient when we're all together anyways. Mm. What do you mean convenient? <laughs> Nothing. Well, uh, let's just cross the river. Hurry up and get over here, guys. It's too late to head back now. And that was stressful. But the thing about objects not breaking was true. You know. That's what I've been saying. Hey. Aren't we just beyond the wavy line drawn on the map? Ah. You'll find it out. Uh, we'll find out if you keep going forward. Why don't you go check it out? This is disconcerting. Huh? What was that? It's a loading screen. What? What was that? What just happened? Hmm? For a sec, it felt like I lost consciousness and everything went black, and now I'm here. Nope. Didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? What do you mean? But... But this is an accurate description. As if the world itself switched over. You're right! Could it be loading? <laughs> Correct! I mean, uh, erect! Oh my... You said that right word... You said the right word the first time. That being said... Anyways, four eyes is right. You all just passed the point of the map loading. You know... In some games, if you go in the building, It'll take a moment for the inside to fully load. Well, the outside is like that too, because the virtual world is divided into two large maps. The wavy line represents where to. Oh, well, that, 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 I can't read. <laughs> the wavy line represents where the two maps meet. Think of these two maps as if they're two different rooms. In the same way, you have to go through a door to move between two rooms. To move between the two maps, you, uh, you have to pass through the map loading point. Then. Is that why we can't see past that point, with the binoculars on the roof? Ah. Obviously, you can't see what's inside one room when you're standing inside the other. Oh, oh a map loading point. <laughs> How fun! So not only does your sight get cut off, but sound cuts off too. Oh, someone's so dying in the virtual world. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes through either. All right. So the chapel's over there, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead. Hey. 
Hey, don't just go ahead. I don't trust you being off alone by yourself. I told you. It's because you pay attention to him that you're more likely to be tricked. So then you fucking follow him too, Maki? <laughs> what? You're like, just don't pay attention to him. Now I'm gonna ignore my own advice. And I guess I'm going to. This is the chapel. It's a mess, huh? Searching this place is gonna be pretty hard. Booyah! Now that we checked out all the important places in the virtual world, Listen up. let's split up and look for the secrets of the outside world. Ah. Oh, so we're splitting up, huh? That's probably better. Hmm. I wonder what the secret of the outside world could be. Hmm. Monokuma did not give us much information about it either. Actually, Are we gonna be able to find it if we don't know where it is? There's no point in asking whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious, and it's bound to turn up. Hmm. Sounds like we have a difficult task ahead of us, but I guess we have to see it through. Ah. Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Yeah. What are you two whispering about? Piece of shit! Mind your business, titless. Oh, wow. Quick sticking your pot- your pot belly where it doesn't belong. I don't have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. But you're not denying the first part. Well... I mean, she can't- I mean, she can't really deny it, to be honest. <laughs> so who's gonna decide how we split up? Easy. I go with Maki and Mew, and the rest of you go fuck off somewhere. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. Just go away from me. Leave it to me. Just leave it to me. I'll figure out how everyone should split up in a flash. W wait! No, hold up. I'll decide that. I know this world better than any of you, so I'll decide. I see. Are you sure? Sure. Kaito, I want you to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? Huh? Why do I gotta go up to the rooftop? It's freaking cold out there. Hmm. Yep. There's no way the faint-hearted Kaito can search in the cold. All right. All right. Bring it on. All I gotta do is search the rooftop, right? Kaito and Kokichi really don't seem to get along. Kaito, way to get fucking baited. Well then. Kokichi, you're in charge of the salon. Okay. Okay, got it. Hmm. We need about three more people to search the mansion. Doesn't matter who. What? This plan became pretty sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, I see. The Gota should come with me. Kokichi seems really gung-ho about teaming up with Gota, and the fact that everyone's strength is average really makes... really makes it bad. We can search the mansion surroundings, since no one else wants to deal with the cold. Okay, Gonta, come with you. Yeah. Hmm, a true gentleman must always volunteer to do the dirty work. Oh my. So you're just going to use Gonta again. I decided I'm going that way too. Have to make sure you're not abusing poor Gonta. There you go, Samugi. We still need one more mansion duty. Suichi, come with us. No! I want to be with Mew and Maki. It's no fair. Uh, okay. <laughs> Even Maki's mad about it. Is Maki upset? Because she's all by herself now? Even if I ask her, I suspect she would just make... <laughs> she would just ask me if I wanted to die again. I should keep quiet for now. Booyah! Maki's mad, little angry chibi Maki. She's like, no, I want him here. All right, everyone else stick with me here in the chapel and look for the secret. I understand. So Himiko, Maki, Mew, and myself understood. All right. Let's go to the mansion. We gotta find the secret of the outside world. Maki roll. Do a good job, Maki roll. She's just angry. Hey, so. Hey, is Mikey Roll mad? Suichi, you do something? Uh, uh... I don't know. You okay, Maki? She's actually mad? Okay. <laughs> I'll take the walk of shame now. Maki's adorable.
Did everyone cross the bridge? Okay then, let's head to the mansion together. Aww. Whoops, my hand slipped. Fuck! <gasps> what are you doing? Aww. I just came here to see you guys off and my hand accidentally slipped. Oh my fucking god. There's no way for you guys to log out now. Don't screw around. That was obviously on purpose. Um. It wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. Shut up! You keep talking shit like that, you only ever attract ugly bitches. Oh. Do you want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches? You dumbass. Ugh. It's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, um... What are they fighting about? I've, I've met a lot of people up till now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Shit! Seriously, that girl's so much trouble. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There was one more person here. Oh, this time everyone forgot about Kokishi. <laughs> Instead of Smoogie. But... What are the other people in the chapel gonna do? Now they have no way to get across. Fuck them getting across, they have no way to get out the virtual world. They're stuck here. Oh, you're right. You can only log out from the from the salon in the mansion. Um, Maybe Mew can fix it later. Let's just get to the mansion already. That's right. We'll deal with them later. First, we gotta find the secret of the outside world. The secret of the outside world. I can't imagine what it could be. All I can do is hope that it means a way out. Oh, come on, Mew. What the fuck was that? GG Kaito. Gonto and Kaito are gonna check the mansion surroundings and rooftop. I'll go to the salon. So can the plain tar... <laughs> plain tar. Can the plain pair Samugi and Suichi go plainly search the dining hall and kitchen? We are plain as fuck. Sorry. Sorry, Suichi. It's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault you got plain paired with me. I mean, Suichi, without his hat, he is just plain as shit. But everybody knows that the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Uh, okay. I don't know about that. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. <laughs> going to go now. It's surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. You should come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but going to okay. Going to not smart enough to get sick. Come on, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone who isn't smart wouldn't want to save any everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hey. Okay, we'll stop the fun chit chat and go back to looking for the secret of the outside world. But we don't know what's waiting for us, so we gotta be very careful, okay? Uh, okay. All right, we'll start searching too. All right. Yeah, I want to hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I want to go back to my real body. Uh. Well, these avatars aren't that bad, you know. Huh? Huh? These avatars? <laughs> Just kidding. It's just a joke. I'm joking. <laughs> yes, Samuki, fuck you. <laughs> what? I'm gonna go check the rooftop. You guys better not slack off. Going to go now, too. Hey! Suichi, we should go, too. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I'll check the dining room. Can you please check the kitchen? Leave it to me. Excuse me, Sugi. I think I should be telling you to get your ass in the kitchen. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. All right, the kitchen's over there. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? You need to use back. Oh wait, what? The Sorry. kitchen's where? Oh, the door. I didn't even see it. Suichi, get your ass in the kitchen right now. Make me a sandwich, motherfucker. Well. I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... Everything just came up Millhouse. Mm. I looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. 
Perhaps I missed something. Sorry, I had to yawn. Perhaps I missed something. I'll look one more time. But it was a waste of time. I found nothing. Hmm. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. If I haven't found anything even after all this, it can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Shuichi. How'd your search go, Suichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? <gasps> the same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find anything. I'm starting to wonder if there's even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. Well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah, I definitely did that. It was me. Is your curiosity piqued? Then you'll have no choice but to go. Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. It was Kokichi who was steering the conversation. But why would he do that? Oh, by the way, there's something that's been bothering me. That's... Something bothering you? Um... Yeah, it might have just been my imagination, but... There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe ten minutes ago, I looked through it. And I thought I saw a Mew. Huh? What the fuck? You, you waited to... You waited ten minutes to tell me this? <laughs> you saw a Mew? But she, shouldn't she be at the chapel? Yeah. And the bridge fell, so she wouldn't be able to get over here, right? That's why I thought it was just my imagination, but I figured I should say something. After ten minutes? Oh, what the fuck, Sumugi? Huh? What? what? What was that sound? No. Sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside. Sumugi, let's go. That? My stubby little avatar legs can only take me so far. <laughs> what the... What the fuck, Samugi? That's why fuck you. Hmm. Nothing in the entrance hall? Something outside, perhaps? Maybe, Maybe that sound was something falling on the off the roof. But the person on the what roof is. For now, let's just go check outside. Oh no! Oh no! Huh? Oh no! What? Kibo? Kibo wasn't supposed to be with us. What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. Why? But Kibo should be in the chapel. Um... Anyways, let's go outside. It'll be faster. Okay. Right. Gota! Oh! Oh, you're alive! Thank God! That was Suichi and Sumugi. Gota! Gonta, did you see Kibo around here? No. No, Gonta not see him. Um... Uh, you didn't? But I heard his voice. Then, did something fall off the roof? You heard a loud noise, right? Um... Oh, Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound in Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't see anything? And what about Kaito? You should have heard that from the roof. He would have ran over here right away. What the hell's hey. going on? Hey, Suichi, what does this all mean? I don't know! Why should I tell you? You're just gonna wait ten minutes to tell everyone else? Such a strange occurrence. Alright, my talents are solving mysteries. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. Um. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Fucking hell. Hey, guys! Shuichi! Suichi, perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? Uh, what? Kibo's voice over there? Then what was that shouting I heard? Well... Hey, we should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? Hey! What happened? Why are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi! <laughs> said it. Said it with a bunch of fucking... You know, as soon as she said that shit with his chest. Kokichi! Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. <laughs> Looks like everyone's in trouble now that Mew dropped the bridge. Kokichi... This is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Ah. 
Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know? Huh? What? <laughs> Come on. Over here? All right. Anyways, let's go. Kokichi told us, so now I'm worried. But... Let's just wait and see what happens. Um... See, the signboard stuck on the boulder is the same one that Mew dropped, right? Oh, yeah. You're right, it got sweeped by the, by the river. Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta just needs to carry signboard. All right. Now that that's dealt with, let's head back to where everyone else is. Why are you being so cooperative, Kokichi? Are they back yet? Hey. Hey, over there. Um. So Gonta just needs to put board over river. The board is so thin. Will it be okay? What if board breaks? You get it. Maybe thin, but it's made sturdy wood. So it can't. So can you hurry it up and put the bridge down? Got it. Let's see. We need to protect. <laughs> we need to protect so peace of salt. Wait, what? D wait. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> My condolences. Holy shit. Like, just now? Fuck. Hamsters killed your other hamster. God damn it. Vicious. It's like Lord of the Flies. What happened? Jesus. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Fuck. You know, make sure you take a good look at the hamster. Maybe you can rush it to like a vet or something. What's wrong? What happened over there? Well... I'll explain later, but we need to log out right now. Huh? Log out? What the fuck you need? Wait, shouldn't we look around? Oh? Where's Mew? Uh. Something happened to her. Oh. Thanks for the follow. But, fuck. Let me uh, switch over to the other tab so I can see the name better. Cosmos Mew. That's how you pronounce it, right? Thank you. I appreciate it greatly. So, something happened to her? Huh? What do you mean? Well... We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Wh what the fuck are you talking about? Maybe something happened in the real world that prevented her from moving it? Hmm. Huh. Not leaving along your hamsters again. Hmm. Wait, what? So, wait, so what's happening right now? Is the... Is one of the hamsters dead? This looks really bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the saloon. Saloon, I keep saying saloon. Salon. ASAP. Shit. Uh, with the game or with the hamster? Oh no, I was asking about the hamsters. Holy shit, man. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Uh, damn. That's some that's some that's some fucked up shit. This looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP. Hey. Hey, where's Kaito? Well that's Kaito? I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him? You're colder than I thought. Huh? Huh? Suichi. Suichi, let's hurry. What the f Let's see. Um Okay. Just playing with the playing with the mother and you forgot to give it. Give him something to eat. Oh, shit. Maki, did you check the rooftop? He wasn't there. Huh? 
He wasn't there? I told you. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then... Where'd he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. But don't worry. He's stupid enough to get him... He isn't stupid enough... Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I can't read. But don't worry. He's stupid enough to get himself killed. But I don't know... Wait, what? But I know he won't really die. Fuck. I had a bad time reading that sentence. I suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on Mew. Damn, dude. Shuichi. Shit. I'm sorry about the hamsters. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say in a situation like this, really, to be honest. Hold on, Suichi. We can only log out one person at a time. Um. Going to have next turn. So, Gonta just say name and phone and someone come get him? Who cares? Just do it already. Gonta. Uh, Gonta Gokuhara. Uh. Don't log out? What do you mean, don't log out? I have to! I can't, I don't think the game will let me go anywhere else. He disappeared. So that's what logging out looks like. So the avatars disappear when we log out. The news avatar is still here and I'm moving, right? What does that mean? Um. Anyways, let's hurry and go back. Um. Smoogi Shirogane. Right? Oh, Suichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective intuition is kicking in, right? So go ahead. I want you to go first. Shuichi. Oh, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey! So, how about you stop hanging around with dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful to you too, you know? I can help you save everyone. You want to save everyone, right? I'm... Suichi Saihara. Aw, <laughs> oh, I got rejected. But, I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. Oh. When I opened my eyes, I could see only black. I was locked out. The helmet on my head was blocked, was blocking my vision. When I realized that I quickly reached up to grab the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Mew's cold dead body. Daybreak. The sun has risen while we were inside the virtual world. Ding dong dong ding! I knew it was too good to be true. Too good to be true. All I can pray now is that we're in a fucking simulation of some sort. Jesus fuck. Uh, I said it. I said it. Didn't I say it when we were when we were hanging out with the people? I said I'm hanging out with going to a Mew. I feel like one of them is about to die. If it's not going to, it's Mew. If it's not Mew, it's going to. Jesus fuck. My body's been discovered. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Yeah. Wait, you're already here. Now then. Wow, I get to bring you the body discovery announcement live. Yeah. Doing it live is great. Better than Baron. Better than Baron fucking. Rise and shine, 
Hmm. Cry about it? I'm not gonna cry about it. I was prepared for this. I said I was gonna be angry, and I am. I'm not gonna cry about it. <sighs> Dad, you always had such a potty mouth. I was holding back because we already had one vulgar cast member, but now it's my time to shine. Nice. Thankfully, I'm adorable. I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. Yep, I finally get to be a foul-mouthed asshole. Yeah! What a vulgar last word. Hey. What's wrong, Monotaro? You're just staring blankly at the body. Huh? Staring at the body. Oh no, it was it was his mom, but she's dead. <laughs> We barely heard the announcement as we stared at Mew's dumbfounded. We just stared at Mew's corpse. That's terrible. It's terrible. Why'd it end up like this? Why? Mew. Why? <laughs> What's going on? Why was Mew killed? <laughs> and Gonta not understand either. You like this when Gonta wake up. Why? Hey, what's going on? Why this happened? Yeah. Well, it's obviously a murder to happen. Huh? A murder? Weird. What do you mean? Did something happen while going to sleep? No. We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual world. Hey. Hey, where's Kaito? Oh. That's right, Kaito. Almost as if on cue. We heard footsteps running fast on the hallway. The sound growling louder until... Gra Did I say growling? Growing! <laughs> the door burst open. Hey! Hey, what's this all about? What's that body discovery announce? What? What? Mew? What the hell's going on here? Ah. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. By the way... But anyways... Where were you this whole time, Kaito? What were you doing? I was just taking a nap. What? Huh? Taking a nap? Um... You were asleep? Gonta was sleeping too. That strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Um, As I said, that was the virtual world. Means... So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap? Without our permission? You know... I suddenly got logged out before I realized that I was back here. Uh, um, you were logged out involuntarily? Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Damn it. And when that body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. Kaito, how long did you sleep for? Hmm. Hey Kaito, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Do you think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? Hold on! It's not a lie, I was really sleeping. Hey! Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not it's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin investigating. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> you seem real you seem ready. Well of course you are. Right? One of your dear friends was killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain it however you like, Kokichi. The fact is, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. Um... Even if the culprit is Kaito? Don't screw around! What? Okay! Now, now, please save your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime... Da -da -da -da! The Monokuma file. With this, you'll have... Uh, what, what? Fuck. Let me try reading that again. The Monokuma file. With this, you can even investigate up. Use okay. Never mind. Even there. Now then. Well, well then, do your best. I'm certain you guys will make the turn of events very interesting, assholes. Daddy. He seems to be. He seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time, no matter what. Hey! What are you so cheery about? But... Well, what are you sad about? You guys hate her. 
Not as much as you hate me, but still. Who hates her? Who hates her? I loved her. Stop it! It's not the issue. Of course I thought she was loud and annoying, but... I mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted us all to escape together. Yes. You were certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had her perform maintenance on my body, so I know very well. <laughs> I want to cry, but I can't. I should have had Mew install the crime function. Oh. Aww. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body's completely waterproof. This isn't the time for that. <sighs> Going to no can forgive this. Going to never forgive this. Never forgive culprit either. Go to but go to never forgive self. Go to swear to protect everyone. But go to fail to protect Mew. Go to no could protect anyone again. Go to his failure as gentlemen. I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let this. Suichi! Suichi, don't carry the burden by yourself. Huh? Huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. Wha what? Well, you know. Suichi is the most reliable person in the class trial, you know? Why would we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspect? You're saying that if I was the culprit, Suichi would hide the truth to protect me? Don't screw around. Bullshit. Don't underestimate Suichi. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that sees things through. But remember Kaede's class trial? Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Suichi. Uh, okay. K Kaido. <laughs> eh, you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? You really don't. But that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know? <sighs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine. If you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Suichi won't team up. But. But. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's just for now. But hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try to get through this on your own. Clear me a suspicion with your own power. <laughs> if you can be cleared. I don't like this at all. Feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course, this is Kaito we're talking about. Nothing I say could change his mind. Regarding, regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. God, Samugi, what the fuck? Mm. Oh yeah, I just waited 10 minutes, dog. What? Bro. First, I should check the Monokuma file. Mm. Five eight. Wait. One two three. Blood type A B. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Yui Ruma. I knew it was too good to be true. The body was discovered on the computer room on the fourth floor. So what what happened? Was she strangled? Approximate, approximate the time of death the 6.30 a.m. There's no external wounds on the body. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. No external wounds on the body. But given the pose, definitely some sort of lack of oxygen. Maybe she was drowned in the river? In the virtual world and her brain kind of took the signals as that. No external wounds killed around 6 30 in the morning. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual world. Um Kukichi, what do you want? Ah. You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Suichi. It's just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. 
Kaito said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, um... Keeping an eye out? It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? All right. But I'll help you as much as I can. So, where are you going to go investigate now? Oh, ooh. Jesus. I'm trying to... Uh, Smoogie's a bitch. God, Smoogie, you have one job. Alright, so... Right off the bat, I'm just trying to think of a suspect. Now, so far, we haven't had any type of... We haven't had any suicide cases. Which... I don't think... I don't think there'll be any suicide case in this game. I don't feel like it. I feel like they did that one and done with the uh, Sakura, and it's over. Right? So... Right off the bat, the people I think that didn't do it... Is fucking... Kokichi. Because there's no way that Kokichi would... Like, I can imagine Kokichi setting up some circumstances here, but the fact that he's like, Hey, Suichi, you're useful. Why don't we team up together? Like, there's no way that he can be the blackened. Because you, you don't say something like that and expect to just, like, bet it on one trial, right? Obviously, I don't think Maki did it. I don't think Kaito did it as well. And I don't think Gonta did it. So... It's between Kibo, Tsumuki, and, and Himiko. God damn it. <laughs> Himiko, you're back on the suspect list again. <sighs> Fuck. What is he up to? Why is he following me? I don't think Gonta would do it either. I don't feel like, Go I don't feel like Gonta would have it in his heart to do it. If anything were to happen to Gonta, I feel like he would be killed, right? Well, at least I can say that. I'm happy that Mew never became the Blackened. So we know she's a good person. Mew hands are clasped around her neck as if she was gasping for air, so she was definitely suffocated. Her eyes are wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. Wow. Ew, that's one grody face. You must have suffered a lot. <laughs> a vulgar death fit for a vulgar bitch. I'll oh, go fuck yourself. Hey! Stop, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. It's nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right? Except for Hitler. Even if she was even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. But But what's mute cause of death? It doesn't say in the Monokuma file. You are right about that. Um... If I may... I wanted to let you know just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way... I was the first one to log out and find Mew's body. She was still wearing the helmet and her body was contorting into this awful position. Oh shit. Hmm. Gotta go to sleep. But uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, and thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Go and get your sleep. That's very important. Or you'll end up like me, with sleep problems. <laughs> so. She was still wearing the helmet, and her body was contorting into an awful position. Maki locked out after I did, and she helped me take Mew's helmet off. And then she was gone. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, hold up. No, wait. What am I saying? They said they saw Mew's body stop moving. So they had visual on her body. So there's no way that someone could have done something actively. This must have been some sort of passive attempt. So I'm going to go with poisoning. Hmm. And she was gone. Hey. Is that a confession? Hi. How is that a confession? Anyways, the question is cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? Muse corpse. Huh. 
right? Hello. Kokichi, why is there a bottle where you sat down at? It's a small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. Is that your? That's yours, right, Suichi? Huh? Mine? Um, no, I guess it's not yours, but it's from your lab. Uh, that's right. It was the ultimate detective lab. Right? Yep, that's poison. Hmm. So you know about this, Kokichi? <laughs> of course, I already checked it. We're all in a killing game, you know? There's poison in tricks prepared, then of course I've investigated them ASAP. That's... Is that? Um... Oh, it's not that I can use them. I checked in case someone else uses them. Is that really true? Okay, then why is it sitting in your chair? By the way... By the way, did you see the label on the back of the bottle? Huh? The label? Um... According to the warning here, the poison is pretty lethal. It becomes... It becomes... Uh, fuck. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly. But when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die, even if they only sip a bit. Which means, if you could get the victim's mouth open, you can kill them instantly. I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged in. By the way, by the way, I should tell you what symptoms this poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the, oh god, conjunctivia, to explode, which makes the white of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes. That's important information. Um... Well, that's everything about this poison. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing a good job. Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner. No. I thought I remi- I thought I- I thought I remembered you said that- that you didn't want to be my partner. Mm hmm? Hmm? Did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about it. Huh? Seriously? Anyway. Anyways, who bought this poison? Do you think the culprit did? Who brought the poison? Can't be certain yet. It's Kokichi. <laughs> but I do know the poison was left on that person's chair. Well, that poison's probably a red herring, and Kokichi's just fucking about. Because her eyes don't seem bloodshot to me. They don't seem red, at least. Let's investigate her helmet. This device worn on the head to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in others. Hmm. I'm positive that they were unplugged after logging out. And that's it, the cords. We were supposed to unplug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. The red the red for consciousness and the blue for memory. If you got those mixed up. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. Never done that before. It probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable? Maybe you'll body swap with someone? Who knows? A glitch. Alright. The mono kids are still here. Near her body. Cause her to suffer like this. Cause of death. Near her body. Okay, so there's near her body, but there's no, like, on her, on her body. Alright, well, cool. Maki, talk to me. What did you see? Maki was working on the computer, her hands moving the mouse around rapidly. Um, you know how to work the computer, Maki? Nope. Nope, not really. I never used this program before, either. Hmm. I see. I imagine this would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... But I did find the text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell Suiji. <sighs> According to the text file, the killing game simulator used a certain program as the base. It's called the Neo World Program. Hmm. Neo World Program? Never heard of it. Well... In this killing game simulator, objects can't break. Your body, five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Mew told us. That's true. 
If your avatar receives, uh, blah, 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 can't speak. Biting on my tongue here. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die from shock. Huh? From shock? Like static shock? Oh, this is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Hmm. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you feel the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, man. But the more important question is, why did Mew keep such an important detail a secret? That's strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that from us on purpose? Well... That's all I can say about this virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Wraps and special transportation like mounts do not exist. I see. Did I say wraps? Warps? Wraps? Warps? Wraps? Hmm. So, you can only move around using your avatar. How boring. She should have added... She should have added warps or mounts to the virtual world. <sighs> That's all I can say. That's all it says in the text file. Thank you. Thanks, Maki. That was very helpful. But. But is this info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Nuh -uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki. But I'm just saying the file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original info with false info. You know. But. But to determine that, you would need. But determine. Uh, but to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine. Looks like it's a job for me. Huh? What? Eh? Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. Mm. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want to let you. I want. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. I can't speak no more. I lost all my ability. I won't get in your way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation. Monotaro, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense. No way! You can't, Monotaro. We're not allowed to help the participants. As mascots, we gotta stick to the rule. I don't care! I don't give a fart about the rules. I wanna help everyone. I wanna avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean Mew? Not that! No, Monotaro. You've forgotten again. You've forgotten that she's not your mother. I want you! And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. Yes. Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging mommy's death. <laughs> How sad. But it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye! Alrighty then, let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, but... Thanks! Thanks! I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Wait, perhaps we should... <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mom! I'm so touched. Uh, okay. Alright, fine. I'll leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. Alright! Alright. I'll start analyzing the computer right away. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire! All right. Oh, hey Panic Enthusiast. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this too. Is this... This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out. Okay. There's no sign that there that this was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey. Could you show it to me? Okay. Kaito logged out. A whole fucking hour? Well, not an mm. Yeah, not a whole hour, but still. Fuck like almost. Hey, hold up. Is that almost two hours? What the fuck? You never logged out either. Okay. 
Himiko logged out. So, I want to talk to Himiko then, because besides Kibo, Himiko was one of the first to come out, so I want to know what she saw. It really does have everyone's login and logout times recorded. No. Aside from you, everyone is logged in and out at once. Right. Then, it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. My main concern becomes, Kaito, he logged out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. So time flows differently in the virtual world, it seems. Also, there's something else I noticed when I was analyzing the program. So. It looks like some parts of the program were written, were rewritten. Huh? Program been rewritten? Oh. Obviously, me was the only person case. Eh. Me was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So, which files did she rewrite, and what did she change? Okay. I'll analyze that, of course, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Suichi will be able to avenge Mew. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. All right. Then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. <laughs> You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. Fucking got him. <laughs> All right. Himiko, tell me what you saw. I never thought Mew would be killed. When I saw her avatar there not moving, I thought maybe, but... You're right. That's right. You saw a Mew's avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey! Can you tell me more about that? Any details? Hi. We were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey! Mew was too... Uh, Mew was too, right? No. No. Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Mew volunteered to look outside? We searched, but we couldn't find anything. Then right when we started to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud noise. That must be the sound I heard as well. Hmm. Okay, so whatever the noise was, was able to travel through the, the loading wall. So it might have just been a noise outside. Outside the virtual world. Something that would have to affect the virtual world as a whole. Hmm. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel wall? Mm -hmm. So we rushed outside to check the side of the chapel, and we found Mew's avatar. Uh, um... and that's, and that's when you went to log out to check Mew's real body, correct? But, but when we went to the river, the bridge was gone. Oh, then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you showed up. Thank you. I see. Thanks. Oh. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one would have gone between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> then, this helps narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Mew. Who would have come into contact with Mew at the chapel? Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, we already talked to Kibo, right? Um, I've been wondering. What was the secret of outside worlds that we were searching for anyways? <coughs> God, I need to drink my water. Hey, Lucina. Hope everything's going well with you. <coughs> what was this secret of the outside world? That we were searching for anyways. That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case. We never discovered what the secret actually was. Hmm. Everything's going well? Nice to hear. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh, okay. No, Samugi and I didn't find anything. <laughs> Samugi and I didn't find... Well, I didn't find anything. Samugi saw Mew and decided to say nothing. My bad. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaito and Gonta too, right? Right? And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah. And knowing Samugi, she would have told us ten minutes later. Yeah, I would have. Uh, they would have, unlike you. Whoa! Whoa! Suichi! Did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. That's so mean. Did you know robots don't need warm blood to function? 
so they become cold like this. That's why he's more concerned about the secrets of the outside world than poor Mew. He told us he couldn't even cry if he wanted to. He went so far to stage his dramatic reaction. That's wrong. That's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth too. You're a pretty advanced robot. You can you can be sassy and make excuses. Okay. Alright, Smoogie. Why the f Why the fuck didn't you open your mouth sooner? Like I thought. And it ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Mew from the dining room. If you had a bad feeling, why didn't you open your fucking mouth? Hmm? You thought you saw Mew? Oh. Yeah, I told Suichi about it. There's a small window in the dining room, maybe ten minutes ago. I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Oh, oh so you saw Mew then. Oh. I thought I must have been mistaken since she should have been in the chapel. <laughs> You're only saying that you were mistaken so you don't have to feel as guilty. What? Huh? Because? If you had been positive it was Mew, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know. <laughs> that's... Hey! That's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. <laughs> I didn't judge in hindsight. I judged in the moment. My bad. Oh, we went a little off topic there. Anyways, I want to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Mew? Um, I thought I was mistaken, but it really bothered me, so... About ten minutes later, I told Suichi, and while we were talking about it... Again, ten minutes. That's too long. That's too long to just sit there and be like, eh, I gotta give it some thought. Like... Like, you're in an area... That's possibly dangerous, with just you and someone else near you. The moment you think you see someone, anybody with common sense to be like, Yo, I think I saw somebody outside. Huh? What? What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside. Um. We heard a loud noise and rushed out into the entrance hall. For now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Huh? Kibo's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Uh, okay. He was, but Sumugi and I are positive it was his voice. We heard Kibo from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. What? That's weird, because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Even Mew said that. I love how... I love how because the little chibi virtual world thing is actually using, like, character models. <laughs> like, chibi models. It takes a little bit longer for it to load than the rest of the game. I mean, technically, the portraits are using models, too, during the trials, because they're actually 3D models. You can see the, uh, like, the thickness on them. Yeah, you can't hear anything... You can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. I see. You're right. The sound shouldn't reach you the map loading point. I had to yawn. Jesus. So how did we hear Kibo's voice? How are we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Maybe someone's lying. What? Maybe someone has some type of recording or something? I don't know. But you can't bring that into the virtual world, can you? Lying? Hey! By the way, Kokichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Ah. I'm not sure. Must not notice because I was too busy searching. Oh, you lying piece of shit. <sighs> You're lying to his face? Kaito. Hey, hey. Kaito, you keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? Don't screw around! Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Suichi's conversation. Huh? My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Um. Well, what I said before was pretty much everything. 
After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um... We saw Gonta as we saw Gonta as well as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. And then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? I suppose not. But... I see you're working hard. Looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! Smiggy's account has been added. Loud noise has been added. Hmm. From what the time of death indicated in the Monokuma file, Mew was killed while we were in the virtual world. Alright. What about you, Monotaro? Got anything for me? Um... Hey there, I know you're busy with the computer, but I want to I want to go over what we learned from investigating the program. Okay. Hmm. All right, first, what program information was listed? According to the file, new world. Okay, so this is just go going over stuff we already know, right? Physics are also the same in the virtual world. There's any warp. Okay. Uh, um. That's all we know. The other piece of evidence I found is interesting. Login and log out information. Hmm. Okay. So, how long did it take for us to search inside the virtual world? Because to me, I just thought it might have took like, like maybe 20 minutes, right? Like, there's no way Kokichi could have, I mean Kokichi, there's no way Suichi could have searched the kitchen like, the, the way that kitchen was looking, there's no way he could have searched for, like, fucking, like, nearly two hours, right? Hmm. Kaito has logged out before any of us, but it couldn't have been him. Hmm. Also, how the fuck would Kaito get forcefully logged out? All right, Gonta, what did you find when you were searching around? Hey, Gonta, you all right? You're so dumb. You're so you're still depressed about Mew? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way, oh Gonta, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know, but who do you think is the culprit? Gonta, don't know. Gonta, not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. How did this happen? But why this happen? Why kill Mew? Gonta, not understand. Gonta not understand anything. How can this be? But Gonta frustrated and sad. Gonta no could protect Mew. Hmm. He seems all over the place right now. Oh man. He can't think at all when he's like this. It's true! But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess a big dum dum like Gonta Oh, come on. Come on, Kokichi. I guess a big dum dum like Gonta doesn't have the brains to lie. Hey! Don't talk about him like that. I'm I'm disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you were more useful. Sorry. Sorry. Gonta. Gonta's so sorry. Gonta, sorry he could not protect Mew. Aw. We gotta bully Gonta for Kokichi. Hey. Burn in hell. If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Let's find a culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Okay. Gonta, understand. Gonta, do his best. Got to do his best to find culprit. Got to definitely do his best this time. Yeah. Yep. Now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi's encouraging him. I really don't know what Kokichi's thinking. All right. There's got to be something else in here, right? We checked that. Guess I'll check my own visor then. Device we use our heads. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in. My concern is the cord. Nothing new here. They were switch glitching. They told us. Hmm. So what can I possibly be missing? I talked to Kokichi, right? I think he's the only one I didn't talk to. Can you believe Monotaro's on our side now? And all for the recently deceased mommy. Mono Cubs loved her so much. I'll never forgive the culprit who killed Mew. Alright, whatever, you piece of shit. I think Kaito's the other one I didn't talk to. That's right. 
Sweetie, I gotta exp I gotta explain. Just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Ah. You're thinking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Don't screw around. What? Hey. Kaito, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean. About the whole logging out thing, I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in and before I knew it, I was logged out. Same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did this happen on the roof? Uh, um... Uh, what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was, since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you up? Okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back here. Hey. Do you remember what condition Mew's body was in when you logged out? My bad. Nah, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. You didn't notice anything wrong? Like whether she was dead or not? Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Ah. Okay, sorry. So, I just need to object to the contradiction in that testimony, right? Don't screw around! I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Suichi. Suichi! No, Suichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. I suppose I'm investigating everything that I can here. Hey! Are you done investigating the crime scene? So do you know who the culprit is yet? Fuck off, Kokichi. I have three suspects in mind. But before that I would like to check my own research lab. No. This might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world. Oh, we're gonna investigate the virtual world then. Meaning there's a possibility that she was killed in a virtual world, which means the next area to investigate should oh, be I see. the virtual world. We should go there again. Huh? Huh? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right? Right. Got it. In that case, then I'm coming too. Oh? Oh great, he's coming. You must really like me, huh? Yeah. Oh, say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. With those, I might be able to clear my name. Um... Maybe I can join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Ah. Oh, so I thought it'd be that. So I get to be the Avatar again. Is she happy about that? I thought she didn't like the Avatar. What? Huh? Did you actually like the Avatar after all? Well... I'm gonna stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Mm. Go to search this place some more. It's no time to be sleeping. That's not what we're... Well, that's fine. <laughs> then, I'll stay here, too. What? Why? Didn't you want to come to the... What? Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Surprised? You gonna get lonely without your partner? Also, weren't you following me around so that I wouldn't have a chance to talk to Kaito, so now you're just gonna sit back? My bad. But I'm busy, too, you know? I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything deceitful. That's why Gonta's here. Huh? Deceitful? See? Well, you and Kaito are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him. Thank goodness. Good thing Gonta's here with me. Ricola's too scared to handle alone. Gonta would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Even Gonta's confused. He's like, no, I won't. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, if you keep saying messed up crap like that, I'm gonna kick your ass. All right already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. Kaito, let's just focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> fine. Thank goodness. Thank God. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means. So, anyways, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Suichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you. Okay? Your talent can save this useless people here. What? Who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um. Kaito, let's go. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Samugi, and I. Oh, Samugi's coming too. I thought she was staying back. <laughs> Fucking useless ass Samugi. Kaito, Kibo, <laughs> whatever. You are prepared to enter the virtual world. 
Hmm. Where's Kokichi? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Kokichi's not coming. Cool. So we're all sitting back in our same seats. <laughs> and they, they still have Mew's dead body there. Oh, God. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our heads and flip the switch. Oh, it's my avatar. Look, my avatar. Um, so you like it after all? You know, so we're back here. 100%. Apparently we always arrive in this room when we log in. Mm. You said that logging in and out isn't possible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then how did I get logged out while I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, we need to investigate that area too. What should we do? First, we're gonna go check Mew's avatar, right? That's right. I think our avatar is still near the chapel. Yeah! Then let's head out to the chapel. I should check the map before heading to the chapel. Two maps on the wall, one of the mansion, one of the world. I'll check the map of the mansion first. First floor has the salon, dining, dining room, kitchen, bathroom. The second has the roof. We split up and we look for the secret of the outside world. Kukichi had the salon, Samugi had the dining hall, Kaito the roof, and Gonta outside. Okay. This is the map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls on all four directions. I want to check that area with the trees. Might be important. Important. There's a loading point in the middle of the map. Splits in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. I have to yawn again, Jesus. You also have to cross the river that runs parallel to it. That's how the world is designed. Hmm. I have a question. A very important question. Which is... How the fuck did the sign end up on the rock? Does this world work by Pac-Man logic? If you enter the end of the world, do you just respawn back on the other side? Because if you look at the river current, it's possible that when she threw the threw the sign, it went down the river, exit, uh, went to the other side of the world, and came back and got stuck on the rock. Hmm. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. Aww. Hi, Himiko. I understand looking at map makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? Mm. You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? No. I never did anything like that. Shuichi! Don't forget we're here for you, bro. Indeed. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw with into a shell. What the fuck is your problem, guys? We're an investigation. Mm. I'm so proud of you. You made friends with real people, not maps. That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just investigating. <gasps> oh, Suichi, could you please come with me? What happened? What happened? Hmm. I found something strange. <laughs> I love how serious fucking Kibo's little avatar is. It reminds me of like the American box art for Kirby games where they just make him angry. <laughs> Give him the angry eyes. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I want you to hear my opinion regardless. It's this way. Hmm. It's toilet paper, right? Why should why would it be in a place like this? That's right. 
It's cold here. Huh? Huh? Which means my intel thought. <clears throat> my intel thought. My initial thought was that someone may have came here to defecate. Are you telling me that Mew came here to take a shit? No. No, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? I didn't realize that. Hmm. That never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world. I'm sorry. Ah. Wait. But. Still strange. Why would toilet paper be placed over here? Could this be related to the case? Maybe Kaito logged out to take a piss. I want to look around the trees. Hey, so. Hey, isn't the signboard that Mew threw into the river? Oops, my hand slipped. You know. It's not some other signboard, right? She said there's only one of them. No. It's definitely the same. I brought back. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rock over there. Ah. Oh, so that's what happened. But, but there's something bothering me. The rock that the sideboard was caught on well, weren't on the chapel side. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion. That's odd. Shuichi. Hey, think later, bro. Let's get moving. Alright, for now we need to investigate the scene. Alright. Well, alrighty then. Where's Mew's body? It's outside the chapel, right? As I thought. Uh, the scene of the crime has not been altered since I found her. So... so, there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. Hammer? And what the hell is that? Is that like a phone? What is that? That's for sure. It's just like how we left it. Pretty confident in my memory. <laughs> I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. What? If you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know? Unfortunately. No thank you. I don't have I don't think we can wait a whole year. I long out. A locked out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Actually, look at all the stuff scattered around. What happened here? Please. That's what we're gonna start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Right? This is a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? We wrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that can be used as weapons. Mew says she's deleted dangerous objects. I can imagine she missing a hammer. Was Mew lying? But why was she lying? Hmm. So it is a phone. There's cell phones in this world? But what could they be used for? No. That's it. It's a phone, so... Was she trying to make contact on the outside world? Hmm. Cell phone? Can't believe there's something like this here. Ah. Kaito, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. See if I can catch a signal. Just want to test something out. Come on, man. Help you out. Of course. Of course. I never say no to a favor from my psychic. Thank you. Thanks, Kaito. You know. So what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Uh, you don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here and let me get on your shoulders. Hmm? Just gotta stand here. Kaito Momoda. I knew it. He logged out. Just like th so it's not just it's any cell phone and anyone can log you out oh fuck this can be used as log out just like the phone in the salon this proves that it doesn't have to be the person themselves if you just hear you just say their names you can log out anyone you like all right I see thanks to Kaito helps I'm starting to pin this down I bet Kaito was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. 
Is this a piece of... I can't... I still can't say that word. Lattice? Lattice? What is that? Why is it here? This is a mysterious object. It's a wooden mat. Used in common bathrooms. I didn't see anything like that in the chapel. Where'd it come from? This came from the roof. So Mew went to the fucking... Okay. So Mew left the chapel, went to the mansion, needed to grab this from the roof, logged out Kaito because he was in the way, and then what did she do after that? Not from the chapel, then why is it here? Yeah. I just figured it out with my magic. Huh? You did? I see. Maybe someone used this instead of... <laughs> used that instead of the signboards across the river. <laughs> That's someone's the culprit. No. I don't think so. The river currently is pretty. The river current is pretty fast. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting like a little hiccup here. Cause I'm not used to talking so much. It's like a vocal exercise for me. Even if you did use use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. I know that. I was just testing you a little. Why would you want to test me? Well, what? What does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm positive. That, I'm not positive why it's here, but I'm sure that it might have something to do with the case. Mew's avatar is frozen, collapsed in snow. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. It makes sense for the killing game simulator. If the body disappeared, we couldn't investigate. The avatar never showed injuries, so this so they stayed the same. She still looks almost alive. But... Her face is so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe that she's dead. Uh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Kibo? Um, What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering well, you? I just remembered something. I think the whispering I heard might be relevant to the case. Uh, you heard um, whispering? Yes. Yes, I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and disappeared to begin up uh, disappeared dispersed to begin searching Yeah, before we split up I want to ask you something Mew hmm. It seemed Kokichi and Mew had made plans to meet each other huh? Meet each other and you're saying this now? What the fuck man, what, what is wrong with you and Samugi? Yes Kiji was confirming the specific place that they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. Then, and those two men on the rooftop? Well... But it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop... Why didn't you volunteer to search the area around the chapel? You're right. That is true. If they were meeting on the rooftop, she would have wanted to search in the mansion. Hmm. Either way, she couldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. It keeps yawning. Fuck. And with no bridge to cross the river, she could not have gone from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something strange about this. Hmm. Okay, I finished my investigation of this area. Shuichi. Sweet, you would seem that we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah, there's something I want to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Seems like you can put stuff in your clothes here, too. Just like the real world. Hmm. Just like the real world. So, what are we gonna do next? Are we gonna go back to the real world already? Oh. Before that, there's one more place I want to investigate. The mansion rooftop. As I thought. Very well. The place, me, the place Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaito logged out. I'm positive this has something to do with the case. Should be a clue there. I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do it, Suichi. You're right. Um. Suichi, everyone's counting on you, including myself. Shuichi. Please give the class trial everything you got and see us through to the end. And I'll do my best as well, of course. And, and I as well. I can at least do that. I'm a detective after all. 
time to take my short, stubby legs and run over here. Alright, to the rooftop. Hey, Suichi, what was that about? Sorry. Sorry, Kaido. I just wanted to see if I could log out using the cell phone. Jeez. Then tell me first. That was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back here. Okay. Sorry. Stop it. Stop it. That has to be my favorite voice line in this whole entire game. Stop it. Come on now. That's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait, why did you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um, I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. What's important about the rooftop? Wasn't Mew at the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Uh, now, now, let's believe in Suichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Suichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective, after all. Hmm. If you're gonna be like that, then do what you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Suichi is my psychic. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey now! What are you, some credit stealing bully? I mean. Well, I'm gonna investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last time. Sorry. Sorry. Well then. Well then, let's go to the rooftop. Yeah, yeah we should. I find it weird that everyone's kind of like, they're kind of, you know, banking it all on Suichi, like verbally. They're all like, yeah, Suichi, you got this. This makes me feel like that Suichi's not going to be able to do this by himself, and Kokichi will probably step up or something. You and Kokichi are supposed to meet on this very rooftop, and the person in charge of searching this area, Kaito, is forcibly locked out. That's true. The area must have something to do with the case. storage room. It's a little different than how I remember it. it. feels as if something is missing. Something's missing. I wasn't paying close attention to the time. To it at the time. So I don't remember. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong, Himiko? When murders happen in the mansion in the snow like this, there's always locked room mysteries created by piling up snow, isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints on the snow in this world. Is that something to be disappointed about? Hmm. See anything, Kibo? Um, Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. It's difficult. There's nothing here that seems to be a reliable clue. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there's no clue around here that indicates that. Did Mew ever come to the roof? Hey! Hey, Kibo. I want to hear your opinion on something. Do you think you can get up and down from this roof from outside the mansion? Well... No, that would have to be very difficult. Hmm. The rooftop is rather high. Even the ledge of the roof roughly the height of three or four stories. You're right. Yeah, it's certainly too high to jump. As I thought. Which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means the only way to the rooftop is the stairs. Uh, I see. Hey. What's wrong, Smoogie? Uh, Look at the doorknob, it's locked. Uh, huh? It's been thumb turn it has a thumb turn lock? Easy to lock. What? It seems like you can lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole is on this side of the door. Isn't it useful the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before to prevent you from locking yourself out. I see. Oh, is that so? This rooftop has a lock on the door that's imp that's important info. Okay. Well. May not be directly connected, but it's worth the shot. See that this building is top of the hill? Can see, can't see the past this point. But this is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. 
I've inspected everything here. As that's left now all that's left now is. Maki? What the hell are you doing here? But well, there you are, I was looking for you. Huh? Maki, why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. I told you. Manotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. Hmm. He's finished? Luigi. We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I needed to do. Shuichi. Well then, we'll head back first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Uh... Did you like it that much? Then we should go. Hey. What's wrong? You. Well, you're definitely more reliable in a class child than out. All the others think so too. Huh? What? I'm not trying to sound like Kaito, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You're Suichi Saihara before you're a detective. Don't forget that. <sighs> well, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Harukawa, uh, Harukawa to be an assassin. Thank you. Thanks, Maki. Was she being considerate just now? I love you, Maki. You have to make it to the end now, please. You're the only one I have left in my life that I care about. I mean, I care about Gonta and the rest too, but come on. But come on, it's Maki. Uh, um... It's just you and me. We should log out too. By the way... By the way, did something happen between you and Kaito? Huh? What? When he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. Sorry. I'm sorry, that's probably my fault. Well... I don't know what happened between you and Kaito, but... That idiot is simple, so I'm sure he'd forgive you if you just apologize. Aw, happy Maki! Alright, Maki. Uh, um... Suichi Saihara. Chum. Ah. I pulled the device off my head, and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi. Well, Suichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? No. Put me back. Plug me back in. I don't want to be here. Send me back! Hmm. Anyways, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel so unloved. Hey. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Mm hmm? Hmm? I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, okay? Huh? What? It's a lie. I'm kidding. So, what was it you what is it you wanted to ask? Is that all right? You plan to meet Mew on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? Hmm. Oh, so you know about that, Suichi. Impressive, Master Master Master. Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met with Mew. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked? Um, After I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Um, Is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Are you doubting me? That's... Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? Hmm. No, I don't have a witness. Right? But you can also say there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Oh, go fuck yourself, Kokichi. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with me or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? All right, Monotaro. Tell me what you got. I've been waiting for you guys. I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He really is trying his best. He's really trying to be our friend. A little bit, at least. So. First, the person who tampered with the program was Mommy, like we suspected. Hmm. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. I guess her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. Got a minute? So, what'd she tamper with? Um... A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So... Looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from the Killing Game Simulator. Hmm. 
She said that she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true, but the hammer was left. Oh, wait, what? It's true only the hammer was left, but why was it left? That's why the program was written. <clears throat> Can't even I lost my I lost all ability to read tonight. That's why the program was written. Wait, what? That's why the program was written makes it. Oh. That's why. Why am I saying that? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose. Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Hmm. No, that cell phone was an original feature of the program. That implies Mew hid the fact from us, which means... Um. All Mommy added were the two maps. The rest were already part of the program. All she added were the two maps? Wait, so was it originally one map, and she just split it into two? By the way, by the way, while we're talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used the signboards across the river, but could we have used something else as a bridge? Mm. I didn't really see anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only the signboard could have been used. Mm. So, what's the next thing she tampered with? Well, looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Huh? Parameters? Everything in the program is categorized as either a human or non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar is assigned the human parameter. Really? But, for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. Huh. That's... What happens when you become an object? Hmm. Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Would that mean she would be able to just cross the river without... No. I don't think so. Would she still be able to get hurt? Well, she did receive some sort of pain. She did receive, like, the sensory stuff, right? What benefit does she get from this? Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it's probably didn't affect... Okay. Well... But if it didn't affect anything, why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Ah. Perhaps that was something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist to the program. Um. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on the x-axis and the y-axis. And it seems Mommy added a small wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Huh? She created an additional wall. So she created the loading. Oh no, she created those. What the fuck? Okay. There are walls in all four directions, and two down the y-axis. Hey. But you're positive there was only one. Okay. Yep, it's definitely the one. What does that mean? Which wall was the one Mew added? What was the world originally like? You said there wasn't anything past the wall. Was that another lie? Um. Also, it looks like the extra wall was given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. Okay. Alright. Alright. So... Just like how the sign can end up on the other side because it's an object and not a human, she can Pac-Man herself to the other side. Without needing... Okay, that makes sense. It allows objects through. I see, I see that's very interesting. Hey, hey. So, why are, those, why are all those things she tampered with? Ah. Oh, there's one more thing. Hmm. So, uh, one of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar? Huh? Strange setting. Oh. Yeah, the setting made it so that they would be unable to move if Mommy touched them. What? Then... So if you touched them, their avatar would be paralyzed? Hey. Who was it? Oh. oh, it was Kokichi. <gasps> oh, she probably set up something for just in case if the meeting went bad. Huh, it's me. I didn't know that. 
Well, duh. I wouldn't know. I never touched me in the in that world. I see. I see. I didn't even notice. Okie dokie. That's all I have to report. Well, did you think it'll help you guys out? Okay. That helps a lot. Thanks. All right. That is a lot. Oh, I should probably tell you this too, though it's probably not related to the case. Some sort of avatar use error. Wait, what? Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. Uh, um. An error? Hmm. The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. Well, I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of what kind of error could it be? That's important information. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Time for the class trial. You know, that thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. Hmm? Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. Really. I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep, I'll be way more energized. Anyway, that's all. Hey! Seems like you're not into it at all. We don't have time. Wait, what? We don't have to do the crash trial, you know. Wait, what? You seem like you're not into it at all. We don't have to do the crash trial, you know. <sighs> but it's gonna start, huh? We know can stop it anymore. You're right. No, we can't. So. This is all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. I... I'm your fr I'm your friend. What? Huh? You just decided we're friends? Thank you. Thank you. Got to feel relieved. <laughs> don't worry, Monotaro. Suichi will get revenge for Mew's death. That's so mean. And he'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. He's right. The culprit is someone here. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When this class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. That's kind of that kind of line triggers a <laughs> triggers a death flag. Okay. I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Wait. That too. I... Meeting you all has really. Sorry. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it for after class trial. Yeah. The flags is <laughs> the flag is raising. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? I think I heard something over there. All right. I'll check it out all by myself. So long. Farewell. What did you say? It's <laughs> waving in the wind. <laughs> it's waving in the wind. This is stupid. Quit screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. Going to do his best. Going to do his best too. Going to do his best to be even a little bit useful for everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit this time. <laughs> What's so exciting about this? Alright, with conflicting emotions, our heart was... Uh, I can't even read no more. With conflicting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the Shrine of Judgment. Woo! Alright. That was a lot. Alright. Jesus, it is hot in this room. So, we did a lot here. Had some free time, did some investigating. Rest in peace, Mew. I knew it was too good to be true. Now, all I have left is, uh, all I have left is Maki. And hopefully she goes nowhere. But who knows, anything can happen. But that's gonna be it for this stream. We've uh, made some pretty good progress, I would say myself, right? So, let's see. We keep yawning too. Cause I'm tired. But, um, alright. So that's gonna be it for this stream, right? Uh, for anyone 
who wants to uh you know uh subscribe or whatever or catch more stuff in the meantime before we have the next stream my youtube's right there i am currently playing through psychonauts 2 and i'm also uploading the phoenix Wright trials and tribulation playthrough that i streamed before <laughs> i am like low energy right now can you tell but yeah there's that i have a twitter i post on there from time to time sometimes i make jokes here and there you know nothing too crazy it's just twitter right and i'm trying to think there's probably something else that i had on my mind that i just instantly just forgot what i was even gonna say god uh what was it fuck <laughs> i don't remember well anyways next stream is gonna be uh it's, it's gonna be the same time next week where uh where is it like god fuck it i'm just gonna put in the schedule fuck <laughs> when the stream's over i'm just gonna change the title of the stream it's gonna have the time for the next stream there i can't think about it right now my brain is somewhat fried and that's really it if you enjoyed the stream please share it with your friends family anybody that you want to share it with really get the word out there right uh let's see what else is there for me to say <laughs> not really much um yeah so for those who came to watch live thank you very much i greatly appreciate it it's fun to talk with you guys while while i'm playing the game you guys help me out with hints here and there right for those watching the vods i hope you're enjoying it hope it's entertaining for you and for those who are watching this on youtube come and check it out live uh my twitch and twitter is both in the description on youtube so check it out live if you can i can guarantee that it'll be way more entertaining probably than watching a vod also you guys don't get the whole playthrough until you know it's finished so there's that too and yeah if you like the content share it get more people to watch it also if you really want to you can drop a sub mainly because i just want to get more emotes that's that's honestly just the reason i don't know why twitch does that where they're like you gotta get a certain number of subs to get another emote slot instead of just saying like here's three emotes uh, emote slots on like tier one because I don't think I, I can't think of anyone who has a tier three sub on like any channel unless they're getting something really good out of it right but that's twitch twitch is weird I don't know why they do the shit they do it makes no sense to me but that's it that's gonna be it for tonight on the next stream we'll uh head to the class trial hopefully we'll finish that all in one go I want to finish that all in one go and then yeah, that's it. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.